Protoss. Platinum one. Okay. Guys, it's, pro it's plat one time. This is our final promo to get us into the league where we're actually going to start doing some real full-fledged micro situations. Plat one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So there's one thing I'm going to do differently again a little bit now that we're in plat one. And that is from now on. I am not, I'm still not going to do micro fights and shit like that. I'm still going to be just doing pre-micro fight. That's all. But I will do worker micro defensively if we get all in early game. I am going to start showing you guys how to defend yourself if you get all in by some bullshit with your workers. Because again, what is our build fully centered around? It's about building workers. So if you actually have an understanding of how to use your workers in a way that will make a good difference for you. Because you're getting all in and you have no army yet. It's a pretty big deal. Suddenly your defense goes from like a 3 out of 10 to like a 7 out of 10. Because you know how to use a worker. There's some cool tricks you can do with it as well. And, and also now that we're using camera keys, there's a lot of cool things we can do with that as well. Okay, so let's Chrono Boost our probes. Make our, <coughs> our gas. I'm not going to go too crazy with it though. I am still going to try to keep it pretty basic overall. I'm not going to make it super intense. Like, okay, we'll do this crazy micro technique that you'll never be able to do. I'll try to make it still pretty, uh, pretty basic. And if you guys are asking, I know I see some people being like, vibe, I can't hear the music. How, what do you mean? So I am playing music on my Discord in a private channel called Stream Music. And it's my my second Discord account. It's called Vibe Music, Vibe Music. If you just watch the shared screen that my that account is sharing, you can hear my music. Oh, shit. We didn't build yeah. our core. Fucking bad. <laughs> but we saw something that did not look too aggressive, so it's fine. Our core being a little late is not going to be the end of the world, even though that's kind of a unnecessary that it's that late now. A little distracted. It's okay. Stream life. You must construct <clears throat> And we don't have a second pylon either. Okay. I'm losing it. Fucking losing it. I'm talking too much about shit that isn't even relevant to the series. <laughs> Let's double pylon it now. Oh. Now I'm supply block. Yeah. I can't even make a stalker. Andrew, thank you for the sub. Much love, man. Okay, let's Chrono Boost at our stalker. Chrono Boost at our probes. Let's go ahead and make our robo and our second gateway. I am here in the shadows. Okay, now we're chilling. Mm -hmm. We're chilling, guys. Vibu falling apart. It's okay. I'm just trying to do like three things at once that are not even related to this game right now. <laughs> okay, we're about to have warp gate done. <clears throat> so we're about ready to warp in more stalkers at once. Yeah, Nitrous Brio. Um, I know you want attention. I appreciate that you're here. But you're my eye of Sauron is starting to look at you more and more. I see your ass. Alright, let's go ahead and make a pylon at our main base. And uh, yeah, we're, we're scouting the right side of the map with our Phoenix, our hallucinated Phoenix. So we're just we're chilling on that. 
We're chilling, guys. <coughs> Let's make another round of stock air. Stock air. He's got a third base on this side. Uh, he's making drones. He's got a couple links and roaches, but he is make okay. He's making a couple of roaches now. It's all good. He's going ground units, right? He's go yeah, he's making ground units. We're not too worried about it. It's all gravy, baby. Not a big deal. So I'm not really too worried about getting all in right now because there's not like an overwhelming amount of shit there with like no economy. So let's go upgrades first. Also, I don't think he had speedlings when I just looked at his base a second ago. I don't think there was speed. I might be wrong, but I don't think there was speed. But either, like, the choice was, do I want to get gateways here first, or do I want to get upgrades first? And we just chose to go for upgrades first because it didn't seem that threatening with what we just saw. I'm not seeing, like, this Zerg who's going for mass fucking Zerglings or something. But now, now we add in our gateways so we can actually wall off our base properly. We'll do one more to cover the edge of the Nexus here so we don't the Nexus doesn't get overwhelmed right away by like a surround. Okay, so let's do another Houston Phoenix now on the left side. Let's get a Temple Archives. <clears throat> now let's start making zealots and um, Archons when we can make Archons. Keep making probes. Builds are all the same, right? So everything's the same as we were doing before. We're just trying, again, always, always, always trying to push ourselves to do everything a little bit faster. And now we see he's still going ground. We see all a hydrogen right there. So we can see he's going for a ground mixture of units. So we're, we're all happy on that. We don't need to worry and freak out about the possibility of what this guy could be doing because we have a good idea of what he is doing. Let's make a couple more extra pylons because we are supply blocked. So we did, kind of delayed the pylons a little too long. Let's make another nexus. I like another couple of pylons here so we can actually build shit around this nexus and or warp in there. Now we can also start warping in. Or we, sorry, we can start kind of boosting our upgrades out of the main base. <clears throat> this base is full saturation. So let's transfer now probes to this new base. Start making some archons. Make immortals, make zealots. Same old shit, right? Same kind of comp we normally want to go for. Now let's send another Phoenix on the right side of the map this time, because we went left last time, so now we're going to go right this time. Can make a couple more gateways here, just to, again, cover the side of the Nexus a little bit. <laughs> a couple more pylons in my main base. Get my pylon radius kind of covered around my main, so I can put a ton of buildings in my main if I need to. Make some Templar here for some Archon. What's going on there? We got a bunch of Hydras and Roaches. Right, sick. Standard Zerg player, for the most part. Like, nothing really too crazy going on there. Probe count currently at 79. We're just about done, right around 8 minutes. Let's go and take our gases at this base, because we're going to be saturated really well, really fast, in just a sec. And this base is going to start mining patches out really soon, as we can see. So, keep chrono missing our upgrades, keep making our army. And let's actually even get ready to start another base. Uh, like now, honestly, because our main base is mining out and this base is oversaturated. So we definitely need to uh, get more probes going to more bases again. So I can make a nexus and a couple pylons over here. Transfer some boys to the gas on here. Transfer over some of these boys to the mineral line over here. And we can transfer off a couple to this base and we're, we're super happy. All these bases are now super saturated really well. We just did a rapid fire of zealots. And we have a good idea of where we want to attack. We're going to attack the very middle right base, like the, the 3 o'clock base, essentially. Get coins at rally.io. Yo, rally user, thank you so much for the fucking $522 worth of Vibu coin. Oh my god, get those coins, baby. Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's make one more Templar. And now we're going to make Archon. And now let's go get ready to attack. So get my army going out right now. Move my army out to like maybe like right here, for instance. Okay, get my army going right there. <clears throat> and we're chilling. We're chilling. We're upgrading our upgrades. Let's uh, also get more buildings while we're waiting for our army to show up. So just make like another robo and a bunch more gateways. And that was there you go. That's a lot more gates we just made. Let's now take my army and like a move the right side here. Green box a good chunk of it and stay here on the left. 
And then now our army is really well spread out here. And let's now take the fight. A move here. A move shift there, there, there. Go back to our army. Grab our observer, wherever the hell it is. Where's our observer? Right there. I haven't followed a mortal. In the meantime, behind this, what are we going to do? We're not going to do nothing. We're going to keep macroing, right? So let's make a round of zealots. Let's make it immortal. Let's card boost our forges. Get 3-3 three, three going on forges. Let's card boost our robo bay, or robo facility, whatever. And then, yeah, all my buildings are going well. Everything, transfer probes on bases that are oversaturated. Base is still good. Everything's looking still pretty good right now. We can do another round of immortal chrono boost with upgrade chrono boost. We can do another round of units. Look at us, dude. We're macroing like a fucking champ, right? <coughs> we're just remaxing super quick. The fight's not even fully over yet, and we're about to be remaxed again. So if this happens to be the case, where you're like, alright, well, I'm about to max out again, and my opponent hasn't killed my army yet. You could grab your army and group it up with your new army you just made. Just grab your whole army and just move it back into the same location, just like what you did before. Get everything kind of kind of organized. And now all of our units are grouped up. And now let's do it again. We can just A-move, shift A-move, shift A-move. Go to my observer at the end of the control groups. Have it follow an immortal all over again. And call it a day. Go back to Chrono Boosting our upgrades. Chrono Boost our immortals as well. We can Chrono Boost, or we don't have Chrono Boost anymore, but because we just did. Now we can just make a bunch of Templar because we have tons of gas and no minerals. And there you go. There's a bunch of Templar we just made right there. So again, same thing as always. We always talk about efficiency, economy, making sure we maximize that. And as soon as we actually get to a point where we're, if we're maxed out and we push our opponent, if our opponent breaks, if our, we start breaking our opponent's bases here and there, all that's going to happen is our opponent's going to start losing economy and it's going to start falling apart. This guy's actually doing B to GM as well, by the way. This guy is doing B to GM. And props to Relu for using B to GM. Because, why? W-N, wet noodle. He wasn't one of those. Why did? Why was he not a wet noodle? Because he didn't break to my first army and just straight up die. He actually killed my first army, and then I had to remax the second army and then kill him. And why did why did he die there? It's just because we have more endurance than him. That's, it. That's literally it. Our endurance of how to macro our economy is a little bit better than his, which is why our follow-up max was able to kill him. So you can see we're both kind of scouting each other in terms of economy and uh, production. We're keeping up with each other pretty well. Supplies are about the same. Worker counts are really close. He's keeping a little bit of a slight lead most of the time. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we're both kind of progressing as fast as each other for the most part. B to GM good, boys. B to GM real good. As you can see right now, this is good shit. Dude. He's, not, he's not wet noodling anything over here. God damn. Okay. And then we actually maxed out just before 930. Uh, we maxed out at like, what, like 918 or some shit. So we, we maxed out a little bit faster than our ideal max. And our opponent is, you know, he just maxed out as well. So we both just maxed. Now let's see the fight. Let's see the fight. So we move on to his creep with our army. And then we spread our army out left and right. And our opponent's doing the same thing as well. He's also spreading his army out left and right. Now, it's a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary to defensively split your army out left and right and just wait for the engage. Just know, if you ever split your army out... Here's a, here's a tip, okay? I'm going to throw this out there because people may or may not know this. If you, split your, if you do this technique where you split your army like this, you should be the one attacking towards your opponent. You should not be the one waiting to be attacked. Because if you wait to be attacked, there's a good chance I'm going to use both halves of my army and then I'm going to fucking sandwich one piece of your army and then your other part of your army is going to come over and try to help after I've sandwiched your first part and it's going to be like a 2v1 and then a 2v1 with two sides of army versus one side and then the first side of yours is going to die and then by the time it's dead, now your second side arrives. You need to be the one who initiates, not waits if you split army like this. Because watch. Watch what happens right here. 
So he waits, right? He's chilling. And now I A move my army over here. And now some of my army engages him. And I, to be fair, we actually had two sides versus two sides. This is kind of like two small armies fighting two small armies. Instead of one big army versus one big army. His army actually aggroed me before I got there. Uh, but the only thing that's scary now is... You got to be careful about composition when you split armies as well. If it's going to be defensive. And here's another reason why. This army is really heavy on the roaches. Really light on the hydras. This army is basically pure hydra and like no roaches. One of those roaches is actually there, by the way. This army has literally one roach at it. Because this roach is actually on this side. And I'm, when I double click it, it's selecting that roach as well right there. But this army is like all hydra. One roach. And this army again is like half or like two thirds roach one third hydra like not ideal so what you want to what the ideal composition you want to have if you're gonna go roach hydra is one third roach two thirds hydra in your spread so this is a, one of those things where all these hydras are doing a lot of dps but they die super easy and all these roaches aren't doing that great a dps and they're getting smashed over by archons because there's not enough hydras here to dps behind them so you gotta be careful about how you split your army uh yeah Especially if it's if it because again if it was aggressive not as bad because when it's aggressive your armies tend to usually meet together eventually, but when it's defensive, this army is never gonna beat this one vice versa this one's never gonna beat this one like I've cut him off with my own spread, so it's really scary for him. But even though the spread was uh, kind of fucked up for the Zerg player here. He still manages to mostly get shit done. And like that's that, that's just one of those moments here too, right? Where I would say this is a little bit of a mistake. It was just remade into like 16 Zerglings behind this. You definitely don't want to be making Zerglings. They're so fucking worthless. If they don't have speed or like or if they're not being microed very well. Like Lings are fucking awful. If you don't micro properly. So definitely don't ever make Lings below Platinum. But our army just uh, ends up, for the most part crushing down the fourth base of Zerg and all that means now is that the economy is going to be in favor of Protoss. So this is that moment where the Zerg is now put into a into a corner and he'll never get out of it. It's very unlikely that he'll get out of it because we just have so much shit. So the Remax is going to be real for us over him repeatedly. Nice. Nice. What is the MMR here? 3160. Okay. Five thanks for the content. I think it's cool how your beat a gym series changes the ladder each time you make it. The power. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely super useful at helping you get better at this game. Because this game needs... You need to, like, learn how to play the game first before you can actually truly play this game. Uh, this game is very hard. <laughs> what race is this guy? He's Terran. Okay. Okay, so let's make a pylon behind my mineral line. And again, if this guy attacks us, if this guy attacks us the Reaper, I am now going to start microing probes. No more fucking around with these probes, guys. I'm not going to sit there and just let him kill probes all day. Okay, let's go ahead and scout his base with the probe. Let's build our gas. Let's chrono boost our nexus. Let's stack our close patches. Or, like, stack our patches in general. Okay, this is the only right there is the only patch left with one probe on it, so fix that one. And now they're all good to go. All patches are good to go. <clears throat> okay, let's scout his base. We're getting ready to take our Nexus at our natural. Rallying the Nexus down to the natural at 19 supply. So we're gonna be at 20 right when the probe finishes, because now the new probe's in production. Rally the Nexus back to the gas, and now my probe should arrive with about 400 in the bank. Build that Nexus. Center probe back up here to build our core in a second. This probe currently got blocked out, so it means there's some wall here. 
And it's a double barracks wall. So this guy might be going multiple reapers or multiple greens. It's whatever. Okay, let's build our core. Cool. And then build our gas over here. Our second gas, that is. And we'll build our second pylon. Okay. And now, uh, we'll make our stalker in a second. We're just making probes still. Chrono boost that nexus. Or sorry, yeah, chrono boost the nexus and the the warp gate. Or Jesus, the gateway and the nexus, and then make warp gate. Let's get a pylon down at our third base so we can get a shield battery. Because again, this guy's opening one base. He's not expanding. So we definitely want to get a battery early in this game. We can also make a cool pylon right here. This is in case a Reaper jumps off this cliff. We'll see it. Okay, let's make a sentry. Oh my fucking god. My stalker actually got stuck there. I cannot believe that just happened. That's hilarious. Fuck yeah. Let's make a battery. So if this happens, make sure you re-rally your, your gateway. I can't believe I just fucked myself like that. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, I should not have built my core there. There was already a wall there. I'm stupid. It happens. It happens to the best of us, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and Chrono Boost the Nexus. And... We're probably going to need that stalker, so let's just literally just recall it out, because this guy, this guy fucking is opening one base aggression, so that's kind of scary, right? Let's get our second gateway into a robo. Now he's attacking us, so now let's grab our probes, pull them down, and attack. Okay, pull my probes back. Okay, pull our probes again. Chrono boost my probes. Send my probes back again. <laughs> Vibe, you're not a fan of walling the Reaper jump spots? No, I'm not. I'm not. I've talked about that already in a previous video. Like, I think multiple times as well. It's, uh, it, it defeats the purpose of why people use it. Again, I do a full thorough explanation of it in previous videos. So, Long story short... You're going to kill the Reaper more likely if you build a wall like this. That it connects the mineral line to the wall rather than walling it out entirely. And killing the Reaper is ultimately a, a better thing to be doing than zoning the Reaper out of your base. Because if the Reaper is zoned out of your base, it's going to be more annoying for longer because it's not going to die. It's just going to be running around a lot. And it's really, generally speaking, the only time you ever really care about walling off the, the cliff here is when you're doing something that's meta and you're going to you're going to surprise your opponent with some build that he doesn't expect. It's not about protecting your probes. Your probes are easily protected even more like this, honestly, because the Reaper can't just do a circle and leave. Because the reason why I can't do a circle is because it, it's cut off. There's like a line connecting the circle here. The Reaper can't go back there. Again, if you want more explanation than what I just said, go watch previous videos of Protoss. I talk about it in multiple videos, like in Platinum especially. I don't remember exactly where and what timer, but yeah, it has been talked about before multiple times. Keep up the great work, vibe, you man. Yo, thank you very much. The puzz. Appreciate you, man. Okay, we're going to go in again, right? He's all in us again, guys, so don't freak out. Just chill. Since he's being super aggressive, instead of making our upgrades, get more gateways. Like, three more gates. Because he's so fucking aggressive. This is how you play against aggressive players. And now also that he's being aggressive, let's get a shield battery at our third base. This guy's super aggro. Whenever someone's showing you units, 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 don't be like, I see your units and I'll raise you some upgrades that do nothing for me now but do something for me later. Because if he doesn't plan on playing later and he only plans on playing now, you're not going to make it to later. So we make a few upgrades, or we make a few more buildings first and then we'll add in upgrades. I'm still going to go upgrades, it's not like I'm not going to do it. But now I'm going to go upgrades like after I set up my third, better, rather than, uh, you know, making buildings. So now, a third base is looking really good, right? Third base is fully saturated. Super nice. 
now is a good time that our money's going to go up a little bit. Now we can go upgrades. And now we have five gates ready to go to defend ourselves with in case this guy keeps fucking pushing me. I'm here in the shadows. Keep making probes. I'm here in the shadows. Go take another Nexus. Pylon, make another pylon. Let's go ahead and make a hallucinated phoenix go like around the right side of the map. Because again, this guy killed my sentry early, so we need to make another one. Get our upgrades now, because we, now we have five unit production buildings, which is going to help a lot if he still all ins us repeatedly. We're probably not going to die. Let's go ahead and make a Templar Archive so we can go into Archon. And now that we're making these upgrades, now we'll start going into Zealots and Archons. Let's also get our gases over here. Four five four five four five probes priority gateway units and robo units second priority but still definitely a priority and now we see a base with a lot of shit at it but he's only got a natural right the biggest thing we just saw there was there's a natural guys I'm on four fucking bases and this guy's on his natural so this feels great feels super good I could already kind of assume that he would only be on a natural because of the fact that he all in me early with a bunch of bio that didn't do anything he just killed a sentry and ran away. But yeah, we're doing great, dude. We're at 78 probes. We're about done with probing. And at this point now, uh, we can keep transferring probes. We can even take another base now because this base is fully saturated again. And we can get ready to start adding on more gateways because uh, we we have a bit. Uh, we're going to start developing a little too much money here pretty soon. That we can't spend otherwise if we don't make more production. Probe count is currently 84, 85. We're done making probes, guys. Probe counting is or probe making is done. Let's make a couple extra pylons here. And now I'd say, why don't we just make a few more gateways? Let's make like four more gates because I'm I'm having a hard time spending my money with my current value of gates. Transfer some probes to the gases. Chrono booster upgrades. Start new upgrades because they're done now. Let's not waste that chrono boost. Let's make some Archon. Okay, warp these into Archons now. Make merge of them. Let's transfer some probes down to this base over here that we just made. Main base is looking oversaturated. Natural's looking good. Third base is also looking good. Now let's have our sentry do a hallucinated scout on the left side of the... Oh, I have a Colossus. What the hell? All right, a little bit of a fuck up. I didn't mean to do that. Card boost upgrades. We can do even a few more gates. Look at my money. I'm not able to spend it. Let's get another robo over here. And look at our max, right? So he attacked us early. It was, uh, look what we just found. A fucking hidden base. That's why I tell you to scout the fucking map, boys. That's why I tell you to scout the map. We just found a proxy command center. So let's get our asses over there right now. Move over there. And then we'll take a good chunk of our army. And now we move the bottom side of it. So we're going to give ourselves a fat concave. Grab all these gates we just made and put them in our control group. Now, take my army, A move, shift, A move, shift, A move, shift, A move. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Woo! Good God. Okay. Now, uh, let's make some more gates. Excuse me. Sorry. Make a couple more pylons here so we can actually warp it around it. Uh, and yeah, we're looking good. Let's make another immortal. And now notice how there's no other bases here. This comes down to a moment where we have to ask ourselves, did we actually fight his army or did I just kill a base and nothing happened? You, if you notice this, you can be like, all right, let's maybe like not fucking just send my army into a single fire line to go die at his planetary. Let's maybe reinitiate because we didn't actually fight his army there. So let's go like this. Right click my army there. Green box. Right click my army here. We didn't fight him yet. So let's reinitiate the fight now. And now that we have a good concave, now let's do it again. A move, shift A move. Shift A move. Go to my observer, which is actually dead, so we need to make another one. Uh, but yeah, if I had an observer, we could definitely grab it and tell it to fall into mortal, but it's, it's gone, so it's, it's just dead. It's whatever. Still take the fight. Take some upgrades. 3-3. Three, three. And now we're getting a lot of money. We're definitely also remaking our supply as well, but our money's getting kind of high. kicking. Thanks for the awesome content, the boss. Yo, Fire J, thank you for the two months, dude. Much love, man. Thank you, thank you. 
Another thing we could do right now, besides currently boosting our buildings and stuff like that and making units, is we could also add in our static D to our base. Why? Because, I mean, if you have the ability to do it and you have a lot of money, this just prevents future problems that could potentially happen. Like, what if this guy starts going in for some banshees or some shit? Like, you don't, like we're not really we're not really too worried about scouting right now. So if we just periodically make like a round of units like this, like boom, we just made a fuckload of units. Now I'm on cooldown. Now I'm waiting anyways for any for something to happen. So if I make some static D, I am now protected a lot more. Look, holy fuck, guys, it's Banshees, right? He literally went mass Banshees. Did I know he's going to do that? Honestly, I had no fucking idea. But now that I know it's air, you know what we can do? We can start going into a lot of Stalkers. We can rebuild that cannon that died. We can rebuild this cannon that's going to die. We can make a bunch of Stalkers as soon as this is open. Uh, as soon as the gateways are open. Let's make a bunch of Stalkers here. Keep making probes. I might not, might not making probes. No, I'm definitely making probes still. Let's go to make a couple of uh, pylons and nexus. And now look at all these archons that started to arrive. They're all here now. And now look at these inches as they fly around. They're flying into more cannons and batteries. How about I overcharge that battery? And it'll help heal a lot on that cannon to prevent my, my cannons from dying. Build another cannon there. Oh, look at that. We just fucking... I didn't even know he was going Banshees. And we just totally fucked that build up. Because we played safe. Now look at the cannon over here. It's just destroying the other Banshees. And now they're all dead. Now let's do the same thing again. Let's go attack his base. Get our last round of units up. Let's go attack his base and do it all over again. He's still attacking me with more stuff. Look at these cannons. This would be such an annoying problem if I didn't make cannon battery, right? But it, for now, I don't even give a shit. I'm just like, cool. This guy's just throwing Banshees into death. Let's do another cannon battery here. Make one more cannon here because it died. And now we have 3-3 three, three upgrades. And now let's take my army. And let's go attack into his base. Let's get my army kind of well positioned. And then A move. Shift A move. Shift A move. Probe count currently 83. So we need two more. We're definitely down by two. So we can definitely make two more. Now we're 85. We're good again. Can take a, take a couple gases there. Check my probe lines. Make sure they're all mining really, really well. Nothing's oversaturated like crap. GG. And there we go, dude. So this Terran, this Terran went for the Banshee attack, and then that was it, right? There was nothing else behind it. There's just there's some more Banshees, which is fine. But like, is he able to? Is he really going to be able to stop this whole army from killing his base before the Banshees finish it off? While our, while we're attacking, another thing we can do is we can take one more Zealot, shift they move the right side of the map, take another Zealot, shift they move the left side of the map, because he's not quitting, right? What if he's hiding another base on a different side? It would make sense, logically, as to why he's not leaving the game. There could be another expansion somewhere else. But if he leaves the game, then obviously that means he's dead. So, because the game's over. So, these scouts would have just confirmed to us, is there some fucking good shit going on? Well, the side of the map that is not done yet, maybe he's got, like, another base here with a PF, and it's, like, a wall there. Who knows? We're figuring it out again right now, right? But, uh, yeah. So, if we go back and look at this. Again, this Terran player went for a really aggressive bio attack, right? He did not expand early. At least as far as we knew, because he actually proxied a base. <laughs> but look at his economy. Zero gas. Zero gas. The only reason why he can actually afford the fact that he went for multiple bases. He's expanding to a third almost as fast as I'm expanding to a third. But he also did an all-in. He did a bio attack. He did a really heavy bio attack. The only reason why he can afford this, there's sacrifice. For every gain, there's a sacrifice. Like if someone has something that you don't expect, something was sacrificed to get that. It has to. You have to pay your way to get something. If you, you don't get shit for free, basically in this game. So, how did this guy get a third base at the same time we have our third base, but also all in me with Marines at the same time, and then back off? How did that happen? And the reason why that happened is because, again, like I said before, if he's not mining any gas, the trade-off is he's pure minerals. So he can actually afford the, the ability now to all-in me with marines and then fail at it because I didn't die because I have a battery and stalkers and shit. He can fail at the all-in. He can then back off and then he can take a third base when I take my third base economically. But here's the problem now 
is that he's so far behind in tech because he has no gases. He just started his first gas. And I have gas gas. I'm about to take gas gas here, but I've already like, he, so for instance, he hasn't mined any gas yet, right? And a gas starts with 2250. Every gas geyser starts with 2250. And I've mined 400 gas off of that one. And I've mined 500 gas off of that one. So I've mined 900 gas and the time that he's just started to make a gas. So we're at the same location economically with base count, but I've mined 900 more gas than he did. And the investment was the all in. Uh, which is definitely uh, you know not ideal, right? It means he's super far behind in the, in the tech stage of the game now. And him being a little bit behind on workers is pretty standard because Protoss is Chrono Boost, Terran doesn't have Chrono Boost. <laughs> and now he's making a PF and he's putting all his racks in front of his PF to like guard it. It's all good. Now he's going mass starport off of six gas geysers because he took them all at once. And this guy's not making orbital commands at all. It's a little bit painful for him because you really need an orbital. And there we go. Now we just we found the hidden base because we scouted it and then we uh, just demolished it. So there's no more. This guy is now on two bases. And here comes our actual attack, right? We split up our units and we just go for it. And he's got tanks, all these tanks scattered behind his base. He's got the PF with a nice pocket of barracks in front of the way. He's repairing the command center. Command center actually still dies either way. SCVs are melting like crazy. And then here comes all these Banshees. He has 14 fucking Banshees that come out of nowhere and kill my army, right? But does not matter? Because look at the economy. Look at that fucking economy, guys. Look at that economy. This is now... Look, look at the macro follow-up as well. Is the Terran rebuilding the base? Now he is. But the Terran is... There's no, like, urgency to fix the economy for the Terran player. So he's now... This is now putting a lot of pressure on these Banshees to just win the game right now. And as he gets to our base, we actually have cannons done. And we have cannons at every fucking base. Because we were maxed out, we couldn't spend our money anymore, and we decided to make cannons just to be safe. And then our Archons show up that we made... Oh, our Archons are super out of position because we made them all over here on the complete other side of the map. But now again, our, our, our battery cannon is just more than enough to defend this. Everywhere they go. As we saw earlier, now three more banshees are coming up again. Cannon battery is more than enough. So this would be annoying if we didn't have cannon battery. And then now this fight again, there's no chance, right? He's got two tanks, uh, three tanks on the like one on the ramp and two on the high ground, and I have a maxed out Protoss army that's just gonna run his ass over. Not ideal. Yeah, he's super dead. Nice. 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 Nice, nice, nice. Uh. Hey. All right. Burr, 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 burr. Another Terran player. Tons of Terrans. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Let's go ahead and build our gas. Chrono Booster Nexus. Build a probe. Stack our patches. Don't fuck that up. 
stack our last patch with one. Okay, now put our Nexus on the rally it to the assimilator we just built. And take this probe now and, you know, get ready to scout his base with it. Rally the Nexus now down to the natural. Queue up another probe. This way, probe 19 right there is going to come down here to build the Nexus while probe 20 starts in production when 19's done. So we're going to build the Nexus. Now go back to our Nexus and re-rally to the assimilator. We see no production there, guys. We're definitely getting proxied. Build our Nexus, though. I don't give a shit. He's got a gas. Double gas. This is like proxy reaper all in. Let's go ahead and build our assimilator, or our, our core. <clears throat> start our second uh, building. Now, a lot of people right now would freak out and start scouting. Where the fuck is the... Where is the proxy? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't give a shit, guys. You want to know what? I'm going to take a guess really fast just for fun, but I, again, I don't care. I bet it's probably, like, right here. Now, I don't care, and we'll talk about that later. Because, again, it doesn't matter if you see it or don't see it. What matters is, is are you fucking your macro up or not. Every second matters so much at this stage of the game when you can't waste a second, otherwise you might die. Chrono Boost out of Stalker. Get our warp gate going. We're going to rally probes to my natural. <clears throat> We can make it one more pylon here on the side of my base just to see if he uses the cliff to run to my base with. with to like to, when he runs up the ramp with Reapers, because again, that's very possible. Let's make a battery at my... Uh, we'll make a battery at my natural in a second when I can afford it. Make a battery. Okay, we're chilling. And now let's start making a, our robo and our second gateway. Robo... Second gate. Make probes is a priority though. Don't stop making probes. Probes are pretty fucking important here. Like you don't want to stop producing units. Make our second gate. Now we'll make another round of probes. Because again, we don't want to stop making probes. And we'll make our next stalker out of our gateway. And then we're ready to start making immortals in a second with more warp than stalkers. Okay, he's hitting me with marauders. Let's now aim move our army at these marauders. Just, it, it, guys, it's okay. It's proxy marauder all in. It's okay. Let's go back to our uh, our battery. Let's make another pylon for this battery because he might just kill the pylon. And now that we're getting all in by a crazy amount of marauder, you know what we can do? Here's what we can do. Check this out. Let's back up. Let's start chrono boosting out immortals. Chrono boost out some fucking immortals, boys. I can't handle Nidus into mushrooms with my B2GM as toss. No chances frown. So all we did just now, all we did. This is all we did, okay? Our opponent is super all in with these fucking immortals. All we're doing for just a second is we're gonna now this is too many immortals, right? He didn't he didn't actually he kinda fucked me, right? On the on the opener. I wasn't able to actually kill his immortals early. So it's okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep making probes. We're gonna keep making probes. And we're just going to throw a force field at this ramp. And we're going to wait till we have a couple of mortals. That's it. That's all we're going to do. We're just waiting. We're chilling. We're retaking our base. You can always fall back to your mate if you have to against some bullshit cheese. And anyone, anyone who thinks like vibe you're so dead though are we I don't think we are I think we're totally fine again you gotta realize this guy's economy is even worse than mine did we just micro I did cast a force field I did cast a force field do it again he's coming up the ramp again guys fuck him right now here's the final thing we're gonna do let's go ahead and build like a battery on the high ground this way we can actually move our army there and we can actually uh, support ourselves. Chrono boost out one more immortal. And now when we have when we have three immortals while we're still making probes, we'll just wait till we have like <clears throat> two is okay. Three is probably good to go. We'll just get like a third immortal out while chrono boosting it. And once when the third one pops, we'll move to like right there. And we'll uh, this is also when the battery is going to be done. And we'll go retake our expansion. Build another pylon there. It's all good. Okay. And now let's make it like an observer. And three immortals are out. Let's go ahead and A move down to our natural with it. Let's build our nexus. 
Let's build a pylon. We can make one of our sentries hallucinate a phoenix and go scout uh, his base. <laughs> Probes are still the priority here. Probes are priority, then immortals, then stalkers. I do not prioritize stalkers and immortals right now. Even though he's all inning. Probes are still the priority. I'm making sure I don't ever stop building those fucking bad boys. Super important to make probes. And notice how my opponent still doesn't have a natural, guys. Let's go ahead and make another battery. And now that we have another battery, let's move forward. Because we can guard our battery. Keep making probes. And with excess resources, we make stalkers and immortals. Transfer over some probes off my main to the natural, because natural is just about done. And we're going to have almost a fully saturated mineral line at the natural when it's done. We're going to have like 12 plus. Like 14. And now he's attacking us with a big fat army. So lots of immortals. Or sorry, lots of marauders and shit. Let's go ahead and overcharge his battery. We can pull some probes to help here. We actually might die here. It's kind of a weird ass attack. It's very close. Don't freak out though, just keep macroing, honestly. Eh, we're probably, I think we're probably gonna die. This guy's build is very strange. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm super dead. I can't defend this anymore. GG. Okay. So our opponent went for. Uh, Siege tanks, proxy marauders, all this shit. And at the end of the day, it was close. Super close. There's a lot of micro stuff we could have done to fuck him over a lot more than we did. There's a lot of micro stuff we could do there. But again, we're not we're not trying to micro very much. We're trying just to This is platinum. Again, this is this is plat one. We're almost we're all fucking almost there to diamond. Where we'll start actually doing more micro situational stuff. But it is what it is. If you try your best and you don't make it and you die, just fucking play another game. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, because all we can really do here, all we can really do is we're doing our setup of two gateway immortal producing the stalkers and, uh, and immortals. Right? We have our sentry that's supposed to scout initially, but because he was going for something that our army could not handle, we just ran up the ramp and just locked him out of the ramp. Uh, whenever he tried to come up to buy us more time to make immortals and shit. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, if anyone's curious, Vibe, how could you win this game? This is one of those games, again, where I would say if our opponent made more mistakes, we could win without micro at all. It is possible. But if our opponent doesn't throw away his marauders in stupid ways, uh, we're probably not going to be able to win this game unless we can micro a little bit. In general. If our opponent can get an army that was as big as what he got while he was attacking me. Uh, and a cool trick as well that we could do. I'm not going to do it. I'm still not going to do it, by the way, because, again, this is fucking platinum. But a cool trick we could do is I could actually lock more immortal, more marauders of his in my base with a force field. So instead of putting a force field to block him out entirely, <clears throat> I could actually make force fields to lock in more of his army and then lock out more of his, like, some of his army. So you lock in some of his army to straight up kill it. You could do that. And that's really, I feel like, probably the only way we would have won here, but based on how this all went. Hopefully it makes sense, though. Don't get discouraged by games like this. Do not get discouraged by games like this, because it happens. It's okay. It's not the end of the fucking world. Play another game, and you'll be just fine. Uh, just work on your macro, because, again, in situations like this, you should be able to get out of it more often than not with your macro. Uh, your macro needs to be a fundamental aspect of how you play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How many brought it did the guy build? Uh, out of the whole game, he probably built like 22, if I had to guess. Built a lot. Another Terran player. Okay, <sighs> let's go scout. Live, what is your music? Uh, guys, I'm not controlling my music right now. Uh, that people are that are watching this on my Discord. My music is my least of my worries right now. Okay, so he's got everything. Everything looks pretty standard, out of you know a store a normal opener. He actually walled me in. So if he walls me in. Don't really freak out too hard. Just fucking forget about the probe. Don't waste your time being like, I gotta, I gotta micro my probe now. Fuck it. It's not that important right now. It's all good. Don't distract yourself more than you distract your opponent. Let's go ahead and build our core. Like, for instance, we didn't build our, I didn't even build my core. It's already a mistake right there. Okay, so he's got a bunker in my natural. So stop rallying my probes to my natural now. Rally them to the main base. And now we'll actually micro my probes. So I can go like this. You're getting attacked. You're getting attacked. Run away. You guys go to the gas. You're getting attacked. You run away. You're getting attacked. Run away. You go to the gas now. That probe died. You go to the gas now. You can go to the gas now. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and build a shield battery over here. So just shield battery, not in range of the bunker, by the way. That's a big mistake to build it in range of the bunker. Don't ever do that. We built a battery in range to where it can heal to like there and there. My stalkers can hit the bunker. So we're still in a good spot. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a Urubo and a gateway. He's gonna go attack the main. So go back to the main. Okay, now let's go attack the bunker. Have the sentry come help. Okay, we can rally, I would say we can rally our probes now down to my natural because uh, we're starting to break his bunker. Notice how I didn't fucking stop building units though. The whole time we were getting, we were dealing with this annoying shit. I didn't just like stop building probes. Okay, Reaper's dead. Let's go ahead and take another base. Why? Because we're fully saturated. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, build a couple pylons over here near it. And start making our units out of our robo and all that stuff. You have not enough minerals. Sentry, uh, hallucinate a phoenix. Let's go scout his base. 
So he did a really annoying bunker opener uh, that fucks up your natural, right? But was it that hard to deal with? We just made a battery. We waited to make a battery. We kept making probes. We rallied the probes to the main. Wasn't that bad to deal with. It's an, it's annoying for sure. Like it's definitely an annoying. But don't be the guy who f crumbles under pressure because you're just like I'm fucking annoyed. Ah! You just like can't handle it, right? What's happening here? So he's got bio, right? Okay, so we just saw a lot of marines. Good stuff. Lots of marines. But he does have an expansion. Let's go ahead and get our upgrades. I'm not really feeling too threatened right now. This is not like... If there was no expansion still, I'd be like definitely saying, okay, we definitely need to get our fucking... Uh, uh, what's it called? Production up. The difference between production and upgrades, though, is not that much. It's super small. Like, it's like within a minute of each other. We can make our second hallucinated phoenix go scout the left side of the map this time. Let's go ahead and get another pylon. And now, here we go. Let's get our Templar archives. And let's get our uh, upgrades started. Get a charge upgrade and chrono boost it. We can get one one upgrades. We can also chrono boost those. And now let's start making zealots because we're going to start going into, into charge lot archon. And now there's his army again. Tanks and marines. Doesn't cool. Like, I'm not standard. Not not really too worried about anything. By the time if he does choose to attack us, by the time he does, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get like three more gates because again we're going to start having a. Or maybe like two more gates or something. We're going to start having a little bit more problems spending our money properly. Because we're starting to get our third base is getting, coming online, giving us lots of money. Let's just make three gates. Okay, now let's go ahead and expand again. While we keep making units off of four or five. What's attacking me? A fucking marine is attacking oh. me. Okay, let's go kill that marine. Yeah. Send another probe to build the nexus. Thanks for always giving great content. Less than three. Thank you for watching it, Colton Michael. Much love, dude. Thank you, thank you. My dude. Appreciate you, man. Bye, when can we add Colossus and Diamond? If you really want to add Colossus into your army below Diamond, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome below Diamond Dad Colossus if you think you need to. I won't stop you. I won't tell you to not do that. But I just want you to know that that's not really why you're not Diamond. If you if you genuinely tell yourself, why am I not Diamond right now? And you, you come up with the answer of saying, I don't make Colossus enough. That's not a valid answer. That's a wrong answer. It's not a priority. Let's make a couple more gateways. Start making some more Templar. Eighty probes right now. What is my sentry? Did it die? It did not die. Where are you? There you are. Let's make another Hussein Phoenix. Let's go to the right side again this time. Let's see what he's doing. Probe count currently is now eighty-five. Let's take another base again. Turn to Mr. Upgrades. Get some more gates. Because again, our money is getting hard to spend. We can't spend our money very well. What's Terran doing? He's still chilling behind his base. And I think we just saw a base there on the minimap for a split second, but it was like floating or some shit. Oops, I just... Okay. Oh, there he, oh, look, he's attacking me. I uh, move it. Fuck it. He's already here. Let's just go, go, go. We can warp in Zealots over here as well. And then we can have these elves go as well. Try to boost out my upgrades. Make sure we're grabbing all of our buildings. Transfer probes. Probe count. We lost four probes, so make four more. Let's make another pylon. Let's 
Let's make like four more gates to get over here. Make another pilot over here so I can warp him properly. <laughs> Thank you, Zwalek, for the bits. Ignored we when marauders all in you. I'm not shy and can repeat smile fucking Nidus into mushrooms. What, How what to handle me? this shit with B2GM? Nidus mushrooms? You're talking about Nidus Stormpost? Out macro it. Just literally out macro it. Again, guys, micro has nothing to do with anything. You guys always ask, how do you deal with this? How do you deal with that? How do you deal with this? How do you deal with that? They'll outproduce it. Outproduce his fucking ass. Thank you for the bits, though, as well. Like, I appreciate it, man. The answer is going to be the same to every composition. If you're not fucking Diamond Plus, means your macro can definitely use some work. Don't fixate on games that you lose once in a while here and there. But if you're losing games, you need to fix your macro. I can't stress that enough that that is why you're having a problem. It's it's not like you need to have 30 answers on how to deal with everything. You just need to fix one common flaw on your play, which is your macro needs to be improved. Chrono booster upgrades. There we go. Now we have our army. Let's go ahead and move up towards base. Let's. I saw a base there. I'm pretty sure earlier. Uh, so let's just let's just assume it's there. Take my army and A move right there. Grab a chunk of it. A move right there. Now my army is pretty much all there. Oh, okay, he's already. I'm already fighting. So A move, shift A move, shift A move, and look, we're gonna get we're getting dropped at the same time. Check this out. We're putting a bunch of zealots at rapid fire around this bullshit. What's up, Bio? How you doing? Mix make some probes. <laughs> See the opener with the re Bunker Reaper bullshit. So the Reaper is killing a lot of probes. He actually killed five probes. This guy was actually countering my micro as well by focus firing. He was focus firing probes I was pulling off the gas and diving deeper in the middle line to kill them. So, I mean, is that the epitome of what we can do with our probe micro? No, definitely not. There's another technique we can do, which is much harder than what we did right there. And what that technique would be is we could rotate probes on a move towards the Reaper and then rotate probes in and out of the fight and make the Reaper feel pressured while also trying not to lose probes. It's a bit more intense on the micro than just saying pull probe away, pull probe away, pull probe away. Uh, but it is, yeah, like, I am not going to do that in plat. It's a bit above plat. That's literally like more intense on the micro. It's, pretty, it's a lot of precision. Um, but even though we lost five probes, right? Even though we lost five probes. Are we that upset about it? Nope. We're okay. It sucks, but at the same time... I'm still fine. Look at the fucking supply, guys. I got 10 more supply than Terran right now. I have 6 more workers than him right now. Even though I'm the one who lost 7 goddamn workers now. I've lost 7 fucking workers. And I have 6 more than he does in total. And I got 10 more supply. This guy is going overdrive on the Reaper right now. And then his Reaper goes back in the main base, and eventually it dies. And then the SCV ends up dying as well, because it doesn't run away. And all at the end of all of it... Do you fucking see that? Look at this. Go back. Guys. Do you see this shit? Look at this. Get ready to have your fucking mind blown. So, look at the command center. So first of all, if you're a Terran player and you don't fucking build an orbital when your barracks is done, you're you're missing the beat a lot. Actually, I am diamond and achieved with B2GM. There is only one shit pissed me off. Fucking swarm hosts. <laughs> Sorry, I am just flaming now. Thank you for the bits as well. Like, I don't know what race you are as well. Like, either. 
uh, I like I don't want to detract too long from this video to to talk about how to beat Swarmost with I don't know what race you are. Uh, but if you're Diamond, yeah, you could definitely micro a little bit. Here's a tip. Abuse the cooldown of the Swarm Host. It's only active for half the time of the cooldown. Also, AoE is amazing against Locust. Or use air units. There's a lot of things you can do. Get these Swarm Hosts to engage you from far out of your base. Like, run a unit at the Swarm Host. As they launch it, they land, run away from them. And then the Locusts are going to be waiting forever to fucking hit your base with it. There's so many things you can do. But again, they all require micro. I'll t and I'm sure if I play against a Swarm Host user in Diamond, which I probably will... I will talk all about how to beat Swarmost. Uh, but what I just said is a vague understanding of how to beat them in general. You can abuse them in a lot of ways. But check this out, guys. Look at this. Barracks is done. Command Center is done, right? You really need to make an orbital. There is no orbital. It's fucked. Now the SCV gets canceled. Command Center sits there and sits there. Then it finally makes an SCV. That was like 12 seconds of idle. Sits there again. Sits there again. Okay, now it made an SCV. That was like 8 seconds of idle. Sits there again. And again. That's like 10 seconds again. Right there. Idle. There's a lot of idle time going on in this command center. And why is that? It's because he's fucking going ham on killing my probes. And now look at the command center again. Idle, 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 idle. Finally makes an orbital. Look at this command center. When is this shit done? Idle. 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 That's like 30 seconds. Then it makes... Uh, look at the command center again. Nothing. Nothing. Look at the bottom of the screen. Nothing. 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 This is like a fucking minute of no production. Nothing. Nothing. Like 90 seconds. It's like 90 seconds of building no SCVs. His SCV count was 22 around 2 minutes. And he's at 22 at four and a half minutes in the fucking game. Off of two command centers. And I'm at 38 probes. This is another situation of someone who over micros and under macros. This guy killed seven fucking workers. In a traditional game, if your Reaper scored seven probe kills, you would be like, holy fuck, I hit the jackpot. Right? You would think that. But it doesn't make any sense if you just don't build units behind it. So now we have a lead that we're going to just maintain on the rest of the game now because of this. Oh. Sir Lobo, thank you for the bits. Nothing. Thanks, man. Okay, yeah, then he attacks me, and when he attacks me, he's got like 30, 40 supply less than me, right? So, it's gonna be a bit brutal. Also, it's not a Colossus, it's our fake loser that causes we get through the but we get up happening. And look at the fight. We managed to overpower, and take the fight, and a, and a win. It was a bit of a wash for both sides. We both kind of lost everything. But we're gonna remax a lot faster. And why is that? It's, again, we just have way more money. We have so much more money than our opponent, so he can't keep up with us anymore. So then when we actually push him, right here for real, half our army engages before the other half is really there, so that was a bit of a blunder. We didn't mean to do that exactly. But now the army goes in and he just gets run over and dies. Meanwhile, he's also doing a little bit of a drop at the other side, which we can just warp in Zealots at and stop it. Rapid Fire Zealots is really good at crushing drops. No. <laughs> How in the world did this guy get platinum with my macro like that? It's pretty normal. Because you got to realize a lot of people that macro like that. Or like the way he was playing the game. If I was a platinum player. Okay, this game just insta-started. If I'd never played this map before. If I was a platinum player. 
<clears throat> if I was truly a platinum player, I would probably not have had 38 probes to his 22 SCVs, even though I lost 7. I would have probably had 28 probes to his 22, or like 25 probes to his 22, because I would have been freaking out and not building probes either, and I would have been instead running Stalker back and forth into the bunker, being like, I gotta try to kill it. Shit. This sucks. My name is Vibe. I'm such a cool dude. Look at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's up, Rudy? Hey, hey Vibe. Thanks up, for making SC2 understandable and fun. I play yeah. Toss and keep losing to my Zerg friend. We both play B2GM Bronze Platt Strat and Max same time, but he keeps winning. Help. Archons. Make Archons. Just uh, ramp it up and start making charge on Archons. Stop using Stalkers so much, and you'll be like, holy fuck, my army is amazing. Okay, we're getting cheesed again. Another proxy Terran. You have not enough minerals. <laughs> So this time, here's something we can do, okay? Let's try something different this game. So how did we die last time? We died to proxy marauders, right? It was just a bunch of fucking marauders in my face, and it was like, all right, this is a bit much. So here's something we can do that's going to be very interesting. What if this time around, what if instead we save all of our chrono boost? No chrono boost on probes now. All chrono boost on units. So we'll make a stalker. Chrono boost that fucker right now. Chrono boost that bad boy right now. Chrono boost. Let's make a shield battery. Still make probes, obviously, but just don't chrono boost them. B2GM 2021 is boss. Just need to figure out how to beat Mass Muta and Mass BC at toss. Screw those things. Yeah, you can do it, dude. Chrono boost my sentry now. Make our robo and our second gate. Keep making probes. Now we're going to make a stalker. And there's a bunker being made right there. Okay, he's attacking me with marauders right now, right? So now that our robo's about done, how about we just go into full on... Uh, we can pull our probes again with this as well. Okay, so... Keep chrono boosting units. Just chrono boost out military units only. Don't worry about chrono boosting uh, other shit. Yeah, let's fall back to our shield battery. Fall back to the battery. Chrono boost out our immortals as soon as the robo's done. Okay, we probably should build another pylon here because uh, um, the pylon's gonna die. And now the bunker's done. So, oh, well, he's attacking me, so let's go ahead and pull the probes now. Let's pull back. Oh, shit, my units are, like, walking around. Okay. Trying to be stopped that immortal. This build is actually such a fucking pain in the ass to beat with no micro. <laughs> For real. Mortals are, uh, or marauders are pretty fucking good. Okay. We can overcharge our battery. Once the immortal, once the immortal comes out, though, so much easier to deal with. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass before that, though. It's a real fucking shit show. But what are we doing? We're still chrono boosting on our immortals. We're prioritizing chrono boosted units over. Or, uh, over probes. Let's make another pilot over here. Let's make another immortal and let's chrono boost this bad boy out. Immortal chrono boost. Get probes. Burr, 
Finally, Vibe sees what we see. Hey, we're, uh, look at us, though. I mean, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Having the, the the fucking clamps on my fucking ankle of no micro as much as possible is a real fucking annoying thing to do. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's still working, right? I barely touched any units there. All I did was I ran back to the battery. Every, every time he kited me away, I ran back to the battery. That's all we did. Okay, or now at this point I would say now we have a good army, right? So now I would say we can start going back to kind of boosting our probes because this guy's still not attacking our base right now. We're, we're looking pretty fucking fine here. And now let's go ahead and get ready to take a third base while we're at it. Can we fall back right into the same realm of... Okay, he's got barracks here. Hey, move that with our army. Get the fuck out of here with those racks. Four or five. Five just got made on units. Four will now make units as well. Five will make units again, too. Put my units back so we don't randomly lose them. Make units on four. Let's make our gases that are natural. Okay, he's attacking my main base with what am I drop? All right, so let's go ahead and make a forge, and let's chronobus probes. Jesus Christ, players, Terran players are uh, so fucking obnoxious. Am I freaking out though? No, I'm just snickering under my breath. Okay, base is fully saturated, guys. Base is fully saturated, guys. Mineral priority always. Fix, 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 fix. Take my third. Let's put a cannon in my... One cannon in each of my mineral lines right now. Why? Because this motherfucker is now dropping widow mines on me and loading them up and running away. Cannon. 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 Chronobus probes. Chronobus probes. Chronobus probes. Transfer probes off this base to my third base. Let's go scout the map with our sentry. <coughs> Two blue state phoenixes. One going on the top. <laughs> one going on the bottom. Okay. Now let's get our other upgrades because we already have upgrades started. And this guy's playing a harass style, not an aggressive style. Like, not an all-in style of like trying to break me with an army. Transfer some probes over to my third. Okay, well, we're going to need to make more probes because those probes just died in my main. So, okay. Go ahead and make another Nexus. And what did we just confirm? This... Terran player is on two bases. So guys, am I shitting my pants right now? No, I think he should be shitting his. I think he should have diarrhea pants on right now because he's. About, I'm about to make him... I don't know where I'm going with that. It's going to get disgusting. Okay, let's aim move the main base because he's got a widow mine set up still trying to fucking pop probes in the main. Keep making probes, guys. I know it's annoying. I know you hate it. But it's okay. Let's get a Temple Archives. <clears throat> I know you hate it, guys. I know you hate it. It feels terrible, right? You're just like, oh my god. This game is frustrating. Don't worry. We'll have our... We'll, we'll get ours in a minute. When he's when we basically watch him be a wet noodle later on. Upgrade my... Current boost my upgrades. Get a couple more pylons for a good spread of building placement. Let's make a couple more gateways in the main base as well while we're at it. Cro our probe count currently 69 and counting. I've already lost a bunch of probes this game, right? This guy's scanning me like a wild man right now. Let's go ahead and scout the left side of the map. Burn. Burn my upgrades. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, let's go and build our Nexus and our Pylons. Let's go and start making Archons. Let's build a Pylon here. And look, dude, he's still on fucking two bases. This dude is still on two fucking bases, guys. Just be, just endurance. Just take the hits to the face and just power through it. This guy, and look, he's scanning fucking constantly. This dude is not making mules. There are no mules for this guy. Get two two upgrades. We got eighty five probes now. Eighty five motherfucking probes in my base, guys. Transfer probes that need to be transferred. None of them need to. We're all good here. Make some more gateways over here so we don't block. Or sorry, sorry not block. So we can spend our money properly is what I meant to say. We want to spend our money, right? Grab these gates. Take another sentry and send it to the bottom side of the map. Did he ever take a third? Has this guy ever taken a fucking third base or what? You ever going to expand? Let's go and take another couple of gateways, like another four gates up here. Why? Our money is really high. I literally can't spend my money very well. So we need more production. We've already learned that a long time ago. 85 probes is a lot of income. He has no third. Okay, so we're, we're fucking pounding his, his natural when we eventually attack him. He's attacking us. Okay, so let's A move this area. Grab my army, group it up right here for a second, and fucking A-move. And how about we flank it from the other side with a couple zealots. Just warp it in. And now tell these zealots to A-move this area as well. So now we have a flank. It's like a little bit of a tank flank. Easy peasy. Probe count, still perfect. Make more units. Don't stop making units, guys. Don't stop making units. Fix that gas. Don't fucking shit your pants. Don't freak out. Macro. This guy is super, super all in. This guy is all, all aggression. No, no backbone. This guy is literally slapping you in the eyeball with a wet noodle repeatedly. Doesn't feel good, but you, you, you know, eventually the noodle will break. <clears throat> Grab all my gates we just made. All my robos we just made. We're in the, we're in the realm of supreme efficiency here of 20 to 24. We're at 21. Grab a couple of probes, put them on that gas. So we make some more Archons or whatever. Make some more Templar. Incredibly boost our upgrades. Get 3-3 going. Get another Mortal going. Ooh, ooh. Let's make a round of Zealots somewhere. And it looks like he's starting to set up a third base. So we'll, we'll break that first. We'll break his third base. We'll break his fucking spine at his third base. Let's transfer some probes that are oversaturated. Gonna boost my, my boys here. Gonna boost my immortals as well. Make a round of zealot. And we're maxed. Now let's move out. Let's attack down here with mo the majority of our army. Like right there, for instance. And now let's green box a chunk of my army. And let's send it right here. Now is this a full wall? No, it's not. So don't worry about it. Okay, we actually just found a fourth base. So now we, we have our army scattered really well. Now let's take our army and go like this. A move, shift, A move, move, A move, A move. Good shit. On behalf of all Protoss struggling in plat against molester Terrans, we thank you for that demonstration of how to give them bloody diarrhea. <laughs> no worries, dude, thank you. Well, Capitan. Now I'm adding in a second cannon and a battery every base. And why am I doing that? Because I have enough gateways to max out anyways. I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money, right? I look at look at our supply, instantly maxed again. So we have a lot of money to do that with, and a lot of production to do that with. But now this guy's been super aggressive all fucking game, right? And we don't want to take, we don't want to take any more of that crap. So if I just make uh, a couple extra cannon battery at our bases to go to two cannon one battery per base, so much more reliable here. And then we could even expand again, either up there or like down here or whatever. A base near a base. On either side, doesn't matter. And now let's see what let's see what this game looked like, right? This guy was fucking proxy marauders into widow mine drops, into a liberator push with bio, all off of two bases for a long time. Let's see this shit. 
So we scouted his base and we saw no no production and we saw gas. This is 100% some proxy bullshit. So he's making Marauder proxy. He's walking forward. We have a battery. We have Stalker. We have Sentry. We're poking, poking, poking. And we're just A-moving with our... Every time we can, we're just a helping, having our probes A-move and help uh, the Stalkers deal with the Marauder. Uh, you know, rebuilding a pylon to repower that battery. But in general, the biggest thing we're doing is we're just chrono boosting out. Instead of chrono boosting more probes, we're just chrono boosting our immortals and our stalkers. We're chrono boosting our gate until our robo's done, and then when our robo's done, we're just chrono boosting immortals over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Chrono boost those big boys constantly. And this is what happens when immortals finally come out. Look at this. This is six marauders. Just max and then relax. That's right. Thank you very much, uh, newbie to Jim, for the 100 pitties. Now look at this. He's got six Marauders, guys. Six fucking Marauders. Six. It's a lot of Marauder, right? You're like, oh, Jesus. Six Marauders is scary. Six Marauders. Now, yes, they are a little... Some of them are weakened because they were fighting the Stalkers earlier, but this guy was micring his fucking heart out, and he didn't actually lose his Marauders yet. But look at the supply. I'm still tied with Terran. And look at this Immortal. Next to a shield battery. This thing is like a god. Now our natural hasn't broken yet. And suddenly this immortal is going to be a fucking beast. And we're having it so fast because we fucking chrono boosted it. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> this fucking pound. Jeez. Marauder. And we overcharged our battery too to be uh, on the, uh, the battery overcharge. So it really heals the shit out of that immortal. Oh, like a madman. Yeah. And now look at the supply. Super, su suddenly super in our favor, and now we have a second immortal almost out, being chrono boosted. Yo, Z uh, Zalbags, thank you very much for the prime. <laughs> and now look at this. If he shows up, what did one immortal do? One immortal pounded that ass. Now we got two of them. Does he really want to take a fight against two of these bad boys? Looks like the answer is no, right? Because he just fucking runs away. And if he took that fight, he would have definitely died. And look, he has not even ha he doesn't even have a fucking natural yet, guys. And our natural is already back to 10 probes. How many workers have died? I've lost 9 workers. And I already have 9 workers on the middle lane again. We're still ahead of him by 9 workers. We can take some res resource losses and be totally fine. Be totally fine. And I was doing Widow Mind Drops. Hey, here comes the Widow Mines all over my base. Boom, 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 boom. I just lost 9 probes earlier, and now I've lost 16. So those Widow Mines killed 7 more probes. Super annoying, right? But I still have a worker lead of 8. Annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And look, he does it again as well. I don't even stop the next one. Here comes the next one. And how many workers have we lost here? I've now lost 22. Always maintaining worker lead though. Because my opponent just doesn't have a third base. He doesn't really take expansions. He plays the game in a very all-in fashion. It's like one all-in after another with lack of economy. Another fucking Widow Mine hit. Now I've lost 24 probes. <laughs> and now you can see the supply is definitely in our favor again. Rocking a nice smooth 30 supply, 40 supply lead right now. Going further, in the, in now are about 50 almost. And then Terry decides to attack right now as he uh, he finally takes his third base and then he goes out for a push, right? And when he pushes me, he's he's below our supply by about 60. So we fucking murder him right here. Even though we don't micro shit. Guys, I can't fucking wait until I start microing all these goddamn nerds. Can't wait.
But even though we're not microing, I just pound that ass with supply lead. Like, look at these stalkers. Fucking idiots. Blocking everything. But we just, we, even though we had a terrible engagement there, we still just have too much. It's enough to break through. What is this song I'm listening to right now? <laughs> you guys can't hear it on YouTube or Twitch. It's on my Discord only. It sounds like a very low quality song. Uh, and then yeah, I mean, same thing again, right? We just have too much. Look at that! Look at that income. Pretty good for Protoss. Pretty good for Protoss. And now here comes the fight, right? So we actually managed to just randomly find a fourth base there. I wasn't even intending to do that. I just wanted to set up a fight. But here's what the bottom side looked like. The bottom side of army. This is the, this is its path. It's it's uh, it's life. What did this do? It got shit on. This army got shit on on the bottom side. That army was definitely terrible. Yet I still won the game, right? Now let's look at the army on the top. We just confused the shit out of our opponent. Now here's the top side. This is the top army. What did this army do? Just murdered some Terran ass over here. And now, even if he didn't leave the game right there, look at that economy, dude. That economy is piss poor for Terran anymore. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, I'm trying to work, and then I just get to hear you yell, but I still pound that ass. I can't focus on what's going on. What the fuck? What do you mean? Let's bang. Let's fucking bang, dude. <laughs> Another Terran. Is everybody in this MMR Terran? Holy fuck. I've never played this map either. Also first here. You have not enough minerals. Okay, now we have a Reaper wall there connecting the gas to the wall, so the Reaper can't run back this way anymore. If he actually goes for a Reaper. And the, if he's not another guy who goes for a fucking Marauder Proxy. Jesus. Stack the patches. Stack those motherfucking patches, boys. Okay, all our patches are double stacked. This is really good. Transfer my Nexus Rally Point to the natural so I can make my Nexus. My second Nexus. Make, queue up another probe, and when this probe pops out, make another probe. So let's make another probe right now and rally to the gas. This guy's actually building a Rax defensively, so not quite a cheesy boy. Build our Nexus. Whoa. Okay. So, you know what he just did right there? Disrupted his entire economy to try and kill my probe, but the probe didn't die. Not ideal. Our opponent, our opponent already, I'm not gonna, even gonna lie, guys. Believe me when I say this, the amount of time, the amount of time that it takes you to kill a worker, even if you kill the worker, it's still not great. You're actually still in the negative. If you pull your entire fucking mineral line to do it. This is something that a lot of lower level players do, and it's so bad. Okay, he's proxying me with, uh, he's actually cheesing me. He just, he proxied more racks somewhere else. So what are we gonna do? 
I'm gonna take a shit on his head. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking Chrono boost my stalkers. Fuck it, dude. Everyone's so goddamn cheesy. <laughs> Keep making probes, though. I'm not done making probes. Let's make another pylon over here. Let's make a, a robo. Chrono boost my stalkers. Keep making probes. He's got a bunker now. Okay, there's, I I want to punish this motherfucker so hard right now. There's so many things I could do to this, but... You guys have no idea how much I'm restraining myself. To not fucking murder kids who play like this. Okay, we'll just let the Nexus die. Okay, we'll run away for a second. Run back to our probes. Grab a bunch of probes, A move towards him. Okay, pull my probes back because, I mean, he's running away. Chrono boost out an immortal. Keep making probes. Keep making probes, guys. Pound that ass. Run back to our Nexus. Run back to the probes. Pull the probes. Send the probes back to mining because he's running away from us. Make another immortal. Welcome to Platinum Vibe. I want to just like style on these fucking nerds. Like I'm, I feel like it's like disrespectful to me almost. I I feel like I'm just watching like a 13 year old kid try to beat me up, and I'm just like letting him punch me in the gut repeatedly. And I I could just literally just fucking stuff his ass into the ground, but I'm trying really hard to not do that because uh, I know I'm not supposed to. Okay, so let's get our second immortal. Let's get ready to build our nexus. Thank you for the bits, Chogler. Yeah, dude, thank you very much. Yeah, pound that fucking ass, boy. Let's attack now with our, our immortal and our, our uh, stalker. Let's also get ready to build our nexus. Cool. Keep making probes, guys. Don't fuck around. Now, now that the fight's over, right? We're going to go back to Chrono Boosting our uh, probes. We want to make probes ASAP. ASAP. What fuck? Rally to our natural. So we can make more probes and go down there. <laughs> Guys, just know that once we get the Diamond League, I'm gonna stuff. I'm gonna stuff these builds. I can't wait to micro against these motherfuckers. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, scout the bottom of the map. Let's see if he's building anything like expansion wise on the bottom of the map. Transfer eight probes to my natural, because natural's done. Chrono boost my probes. No natural. And he's going fucking Cyclone Widow Mine. Good God. Let's go ahead and get ready to take our third base. Before I melt this foo. Melt this sucker. What the fuck was that? This building moves. I've never seen this map before, so it's I thought for a second I thought it was a turn unit, but it's like a it's like a doodad. No, pyramid, thank you for the hundred bits. Huh? <laughs> 
Come on, Vibe, you need better macro. Dude, I'm not even worried. I'm gonna fucking murder this kid. Hey, guys, I'm still gonna win these games. Most, uh, more often than not, I'm still going to win these games. It's just, I want to, like, crush them harder. Because the disrespect. I'm like a goddamn T-Rex getting attacked by a raptor. He's biting my ankle right now. Get out of here. Okay, so our opponent, the guys, what, are, what did our opponent do this game? He didn't fucking expand. So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go upgrades or am I gonna make more production? Spoiler alert, I'm gonna make fucking more production. I'm not going to make upgrades first. And why? Because this dude's fucking all in. And if he's all in, if I make upgrades that aren't gonna be done for the next like two minutes, I could die in that time frame. Transfer probes to the third. And now what am I gonna do again? Let's fucking expand again, because this base is fully saturated. Look at me, I'm exploding. Our production is exploding. Oh, it's exploding yeah. everywhere. Thank you, Isaacs, for the 10 months. Melt his ass. Oh, we're gonna melt his ass, all right. Are you going to push me now with Cyclone Widowmine? What's happening right now? Let's go ahead and scout the bottom of the map again. Let's see if this dude's expanded finally to his natural. And now we're going... Now, finally, let's go into uh, another round of Stalkers and we'll go into upgrades now. We'll actually make upgrades now because I actually have the money to do it. He's got more cycling. What a mind marauder now. Just turtling on two bases with a bunker. All G. All freaking G, dude. We don't care. We don't care one bit. We don't fucking care. Try to boost out some probes. And now that we're going into uh, upgrades, let's start making zealots and archons. Because we're going to start our council and our, our, and our, and our temple archives. Chrono Boost Lang Charge. Get our armor and weapon upgrades. Chrono Boost those bad boys. What, probe count currently at 79, guys. Just about done. Let's take another base, because that base is fully saturated. Uh, what the fuck is this? It's like a gold base wall. Okay, this map is a cheese map. This map is a cheese map. I have now concluded that this is what this map is. This map is small and it's got mineral pocket openings here. That's a risk there. The only way to protect this property is if you're aggressive. So this map is going to be cheese central. Okay. Let's go ahead and build a couple more gates because we're starting to have a problem spending our money. We're getting attacked at our third. Let's go ahead and A move that. Let's have our observer follow a immortal so it doesn't just fly into widow mines and fucking die. You know what, guys? That Nexus just died. Or did it? Or did it die? It's back already. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? What do you think about that? So this guy with proxy two racks me with a uh, normal racks in his base. He also made no gas. That's a bit of a fucking weird sign, right? When we scouted his base. Having no gas is awkward. And then he shows up with Marines, right? He shows up with Marines at our base. Super annoying. Currently, we've lost one probe. Our scouting probe died. And now he's bunkering me. Remember how what I told you? Remember what I told you? Don't forget what I told you. What did I say about a bunker? I said, don't attack a bunker until you have an immortal. Remember that? So this bunker is done. This is not going to go well for us if we try to fight that fucking bunker with one stalker. Now, if it was a Reaper only, it's different because the Reaper is not going to kill a Nexus super fast. Then we could actually use a battery and kill the bunker with a stalker and a sentry. That is why I killed the bunker with a stalker sentry because it was just one Reaper. But if it's proxy fucking racks, multiple Marines coming at you and it's fully loaded bunker with more Marines around it, 
That is not a good idea to attack that bunker. You will die. <coughs> so we sack the we sack the Nexus. We just sack it. And now our stalkers are really exposed. So all we do is we run back to our probes, and we have the probes come help. They move the probes. And then he runs all the way down the ramp, and we just go, all right, let's not chase him all the way back to the bunker. Let's go ahead and let him leave. And let's just... My stalkers are getting free damage the whole time these probes are taking damage. So his marine count got thinned out a lot there. Now let's go back and mine minerals again. Now we're chronobusting immortals, just like before. Chronobust immortals against his bullshit cheese. And he comes back again. We run away. We lose a stalker in the process. We a move probes at him again. And then we pull probes back. And the reason why we pull probes back again is because his marine count once again is getting a little bit smaller. And we want to make sure, again, we're prioritizing minerals. If these stalkers die, we can always rebuild them. It's okay. We really want to make sure we mine minerals, though, as much as possible. And now our mortal pops out. And our mortal fucking handles business. Now, obviously, if this was higher level, we could actually micro those stalkers. But again, we're not microing right now. So it, it is what it is, right? It is what it motherfucking is. Da, 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 da. Oh shit, it's Caliber. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Yo, Mr. Pat. What's up, dude? Now two mortals come out. We just fucking pound that bunker into oblivion. Everything dies. We didn't. We could have saved that century, but we didn't micro it, and it died. That's, so that was my scout that just died, unfortunately. But all said and done, all said and done, guys. Look at this. After we just lost more resources there, because we he literally killed my fucking expansion, and he also killed how many probes? He's killed seven probes. He killed my expansion. He killed a pylon. He killed like a few stalkers. He killed a sentry. Sucks ass, right? You're like, ah, damn. Ah, I took a lot of damage. But would you have assumed that I'm already almost doubling his fucking supply? <laughs> Happens all the time. Thank you so much for B2GM. SC2 super fun now after learning from Vibe. No, Pyramid, thank you very much. I'm glad you like it, dude. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. And look at the, look at the probe count, right? I'm super oversaturated here. But guess what? It's going to transfer now to my natural. And now look at my natural. All of a sudden, right as my natural's done, two probes and now ten probes. Now eleven. Now twelve. Like, it's it's already saturated super fast. So I've already fixed the problem pretty quickly. And my opponent has no SCVs at the natural. He's got his main base still where the natural would be. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Then we take our third base. So, you know, go back to the same sequences we always go to, right? Macro, 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 macro. Now look at these supply leads, guys. Good God. Look at these supply leads. There's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of it, rather. Sorry. I'm a 30 supply lead already. And now we're taking our next base again. Look at that worker lead. Look at that worker count, guys. We have 30 more workers than he does. And why is that? It's because he never ever tries to take a third base. This guy needs to win the game with this attack. He is all in. He's put himself in a position where he has no chance to develop a game after this. If this fails, it's over. And you don't want to play like that because that's how you become a weak player. If you don't ever have... If you just have, like, this is all I can do, I, can, I have no gas in the tank after this, you're going to die all the time versus players that defend anything. So he's here. He's attacking me. He's hoping that I fall apart and die. But he's also behind by a big-ass supply deficit. It's almost 40 supply deficit right there. We attack into him. And our Nexus dies. But his entire army dies. And now he's at a 54 supply deficit. And the Nexus is already being rebuilt. So, brutal. And there's no third base for our opponent. There's literally nothing that will go beyond this. So, like, if you see, these bases are mining out now. This base is, like, looking low on the patches. Half the patch is already gone. And if he drops the mules, these patches are going to disappear even faster. 
Then he's going to have like super inefficient mining. Like before he left the game, look at the mining on the main base. Fucking 16 out of 10. That's crappy mining. Six SCVs are mining like garbage there. And it's about to be 16 out of 8 in a second here because this patch has literally one trip left and it's done. And now it's going to say 16 out of 8 and one of the SCVs is like relocating itself. And oh, there you go. 16 out of 8. I think this is not ideal, right? This is not fucking ideal at all. That's how you lose. And he has nowhere to send them to. Hopefully it's making sense. Hopefully you guys are understanding. Hopefully you're understanding what I mean. And that guy is also Diamond League. <laughs> Another terror player. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Let's make our pylon. Stack our patches. Build our gateway. Let's go scout his base. I'll build my gas and I'll go scout his base. Build a gas. Right click his base. Chrono Booster Nexus. And rally our probes onto patches that are open. So this one needs two, and then this one over here needs two as well. Okay. And now we, rally, we will rally our Nexus to the gas, the assimilator itself. Once the first, first road pops out, we'll now rally it to the natural. <laughs> now let's rally the Nexus back to the gas. Build our Nexus in a second here, and let's see if we're getting cheesed again. Build our Nexus. Uh, he walled me out, yeah. And look at the gateway. Guys, just so you know, his barracks is still in production, and my gateway is already done. There's some shenanigans going on. If we compare his build to my build, why the fuck is his barracks late? There's no need for it to be late. Why is it late? It's probably because he fucking gassed before taking a rax or something, and he's proxying some shit on my base. I am 100% confident I'm going to get cheesed again. There's no need for our barracks to be delayed by like 10 seconds for no reason. So what are we going to do? How are we going to deal with that? Just fuck Chrono Boost Immortals. Wait, the solution's simple. Chrono Boost that goddamn big boy. Chrono Boost the big boy. Get him out. Don't Chrono Boost Stalkers. Or sorry, don't Chrono Boost Probes anymore. Just let Probes make automatically over time. Chrono Boost that Immortals. Let's make a Robo right now. And we're getting Reapered. I'm gonna run this road back a little bit. There, it died. It's okay. Reaper's running into my base, and he ran into a death trap because he can't get out of there now. Reaper wall, beautiful. Let's make a battery. Let's go to be stop immortal in a second, just to play it safe. This is kind of questionable now, though, because. He has not... Uh, for, actually, let's put a pilot over here so we can see if more Reapers come up. He hasn't attacked me with much more yet. So it's kind of questionable as to like what he's actually doing. It's a little questionable. But it's okay. We'll figure it out soon enough it is with the Sentry, right? Currently, we stop the Immortal. Just to be on the safe side. 
And our, we're starting to get a lot of Chronobus on our Nexus. Let's just dump a Chronobus. Because he's, he's not consistently being aggressive here. So we did one Chronobus on the Immortal just to play it safe. Now let's go back to Chronobus Stinger Probes. Because we're assuming this is potentially no aggression anymore. Now he's just like... <laughs> he just wanted to... Excuse me, sorry. He might have just wanted to attack me with that Reaper and then fall back into something else. Now let's get our second gateway. Okay, there's a Medivac, right? Okay. Does this have Widow Mines in it? What is this? It's got Marauders and Widow Mines in it. So let's run our probes away. Don't let my probes all die to a fucking Widow Mine. Okay, let's A move my shit forward. Take my probes and go mine minerals again. Because we're good now. We're, we're totally happy. Okay, let's go ahead and take a third base. He's going to my natural now. He wiped out another group of probes. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, boy. Please use slash dance when you beat this cheese down. Saturate my gases properly. Trying to boost out my probes. This guy's now in the phase of the game where he's trading. He's trading army to kill probes. He's sacking army to kill probes. So let's turn to probes. Because I'm not really losing my army very much. I only lost a couple stalkers there because of the widow mine. I actually ended up nailing a stalker there pretty hard. But it's okay. The first time it shot. Chrono boost these bad boys. And now let's go for upgrades this game. So this is a bit of a gamble. And why is it a gamble? I'm just making a choice. He killed my fucking sentry as well with the Marauder. But he threw away all of his units in that medevac. So I'm gambling. And because this guy is playing harass style, I'm not going to get attacked very hard. And now he's bunker rolling me. So it looks like it was kind of a bad choice. It's okay. Let's pull my probes. And just go attack this shit. Pull the boys. Thanks for this series, man. Really made me fall back in love with SC2. Also, does League matter or only MMR for matchmaking? Uh, League doesn't matter at all. MMR is its own thing. League, League is just what your MMR is indicative of, but it's all based off MMR, not League. Okay, let's try to boost out our upgrades. So it would have been better if I would have made gateways instead of upgrades, because he's actually being in fucking incredibly all in. Still. But look, I made the wrong choice and I'm still fucking winning. Doesn't matter. And the only reason why I made the wrong choice is because he killed my sentry and I can't scout shit right now. And I don't want to have the observer leave because then how can I see Widow Mines? Then I want to make immortals because what if he attacks me with a lot of shit? Okay, let's go ahead and take another base. This is, the, this is what I mean when I say you can play efficient and make the wrong choice and beat someone who plays the right way and plays inefficient. Chrono Booster upgrades. Let's get our Templar Archives. And now let's start making Zealots. And let's make a couple more gateways so we can start going into Archons. Let's make a, a Hussein Phoenix. Now it's our turn to motherfucker scout, boy. Now we gonna see what you doing. What you got going on in your base. Huh? Card booster upgrades. He's got tanks and bio. All G. I don't. N n nothing that we're intimidated by. It just confirmed it's ground. He's got a couple liberators and ground. Archons will be amazing here. Let's make some more gateways. Keep making probes. Transfer probes off this base to gases and also just straight up off this base as well. Okay, we fixed that base of saturation. We're good to go. Keep making immortals. Keep making all our stuff. Get 2-2 two, two upgrades going. Card boost that shit. Transfer probes. Let's go ahead and make another nexus. Probe count. Oh, we're actually 87 probes. Now we're 86. So we're done. We're done making probes. 
We're happy on perp count. Okay, let's make another pi couple pylons in my base. Let's start making archons. Let's take a sentry and hallucinate the top of the map. That way we can see, does this guy have expansions on the north side? Oh, he's attacking me as well at the same time. He's setting up another push. Do we give a shit? Nope. I don't give a shit, boy. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Make like a few more gateways. Get, just give him a second. Give this guy a second. Let him actually push my base. Okay, now he's pushing my base. Let's aim with it. Like, he's actually shoving the Liberator in my face now. Okay. He's not pushing my base anymore. So wait. Just wait. Just wait, guys. What is reason do I have to push this right now? Give me one. I, I don't. I don't give a shit. And you know why that... You know why I'm not shitting my pants? And I'm not freaking out right... Oh, I canceled the Nexus. You know why I'm not freaking out right now? Because I am producing units at a faster pace than he is. I produce faster. How do I know that? Dude's on two bases still. I'm on five. Well, I was on five. Now I'm on four. But I'm soon to be on five again. How about we just wait until we max? Okay, well, he's pushing me now. So let's just go. We'll just go. Just go for it. Whatever happens, happens. We'll outproduce him. Make a few more gateways. Gateway, gateway. Make another robo. Boom, robo. Chrono booster upgrades. Make another round of zealots. Okay, he's got liberators flying around my base, and his army is completely dead. Let's make some Urkon. Chrono booster upgrades, or that we already did. Okay, cool. Grab all these gates. We need to make like three more gates or something, or like four more gates. And now we're good. Chrono boost these into, or uh, merge those into Urkons. We can take that with uh, thingy thingy. We can also make like one cannon for middle line right now, and why are we doing that? This guy was widow mind dropping me earlier. What if he does it again? Just make like for now, just make like one. It's okay. We don't need to go crazy. Just make like one for now. Let's also transfer some probes off this base and send them to the new base. Um, let's grab my army together. And let's make just a round of stalkers, because he's using a lot of liberators, so we'll just make a stalker round. And now let's go ahead and A move the area. A move that area. Make some Templar. Cool. Now let's make a couple of immortals. Uh, Chrono boost this bad boy. Grab probes off the natural. Send them elsewhere. Send probes on the gases here properly. Send other probes to like the gas here too. And all the probes are looking pretty good everywhere for the most part. Get our upgrades going for 3 3. Make a wave of zealot. Chrono boost the upgrades. We can make Immortals again. Chrono Boost those out too. Immortal, Immortal. Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost. And look at our supply. Freaking maxed. Right? Maxed out. Let's go move across and attack his base now. Okay. So, Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost. Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost. Bases are looking good. Oh, that base is not looking good. Fix. Send there. Take another base, because that base is getting highly saturated. Take a base. Okay, now let's go for it. Grab my... Kill these rocks. We saw a base right there just now. Kill the rocks. A move. Green box some of my army. A move back. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, now let's go like this. A move. Shift. A move. A move. A move. A move. That way we get all around his base and shit like that. And we just gave ourselves a big fat concave. 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 Now look at my supply. Maxed, 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 maxed. And he's got a base up here that he just hid, so we definitely want to go check that again, right? We want to check the map again eventually. But we know it hasn't existed for a long time because we just got to that earlier, which is why no patches have been mined yet. Like, he hasn't touched his base yet. I think he literally just lifted and landed this command center over here and, like, unloaded SCVs or some shit. Uh, like, who knows, right? But whatever. So he's attacking me. 
Like, look at this build, right? This build is one base. So remember how, guys, do you remember this? Well, this is really important. This is super important. Do you remember this part? Do you remember this part? Watch. Do you remember this? I scout after making gateway and then guess. And this is what I see. Look at that fucking barracks. Look at that gateway. There is not a diff there there is there is uh there's definitely a difference there and it's not because of no reason. It's not like oh that's fine. This is a little detail that lower level players never pick up on. But we've been talking about scouting as well in this game, right? We've been talking about how to compare your build to your opponent's build. And look at this. Our opponent's fucking barracks is still probably like eight seconds out, it looks like, or like six seconds out. How do I know that? I know the barracks cost 46 seconds to build. And if you take that amount of time, what do you think that amount of time is worth? If you if this whole bar represents 46 seconds, what does that represent out of that 46 second bar? I would say probably six or eight seconds. Somewhere in that range. If you had to guess, if you had to guess, right? Or if you're if you were guessing, it probably represents about that much. What if it was about that far? It'd probably be like 23 seconds out. How do I know that? It's like halfway. 23 is half of 46. So I already know that this barracks is delayed. And my gateway is fucking done. It's done like right now. Like, right? It's done. My barracks, my gateway is done. His barracks is still fucking yellow. It's not even green yet in health. So there is a deviation there. There is, a, there is something going on here. Not only that, not only that, but not only has he made a barracks later than my than my next or than my gateway but he already has two finished two finished depots fin they're finished they're not starting they're finished one finished depot is normal i have one finished pylon he has a second finished depot which means it would be like me having a second finished pylon already i can guarantee this is not a command center you cannot afford a command center playing like this also i can guarantee the reason why his barracks is delayed is because he went for a gas before his barracks, which is why he's probably going to go for a factory right after his barracks is done, which is why look at the gas. He's already mined almost 100. I have only mined about 20 out of the gas. We could tell that based off of how late his barracks was for no reason and how early his second depot was. That is a fucking big deal that is super big information right there big time and as a result of this i play defensive because i don't know if what, what is he fucking building a factor over here what if he's gonna proxy me what if he's like the other guy who's gonna build what if this is just not his first racks and instead he's got barracks 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 two barracks are cheaper than a fucking command center by the way you could afford that like there's multiple things that could be happening right now. This looks like aggression one way or another, though. Either tech aggression or proxy aggression. So all we do is we start chrono boosting on immortals as soon as we can. And chrono boost on our stalkers as well. As a result of going, okay, let's allocate chrono to be defensive now instead of being greedy. So we now... Remember, you guys remember that big fucking paint thing I made where it's like greed, safe greed, or super greed? If we chrono boosted probes, that would be super greedy. If we chrono boost the units after expanding right away, that's safe greed. The Nexus is still greedy, but chrono boosting probes is a safe way to go about it. Versus someone who's playing extra aggressive. <laughs> Yo, polite troll, hey man, you too. You play pretty good. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then he loses the Reaper. It's all G. And then he quickly follows up that Reaper dying with a fucking drop in my main base. All off of one base. He just started his command center as he loaded up that medevac and came across. His whole build put him in a, in a hole of 15 probes. Guys, he's fucking 15 probes in the hole. He's behind me by 15. Now, obviously, he shouldn't be actually tied with me because I'm Protoss and I should always have a little bit of a lead. But he's got a horrible economy compared to Protoss right now. So he's got a lot of room to make up with with this medevac drop. And what does it ultimately do? It kills the Stalker in a century with that Widowmind shot. 
And then the Widow Mine barely comes off cooldown again. And now he kills actually nine probes. But even though nine probes have died, I'm still ahead by 13. Remember how I said I was 15 ahead? How the fuck can I be 15 probes ahead? And now I'm still 13 probes ahead and I just lost nine. It's because he's not fucking building SCVs. <laughs> and now look at that supply looking juicy and now he pushes us again right and this is when we made the, because my sentry died I lost my scout and we just made a choice we were like ah fuck it let's go for upgrades <laughs> we made that choice logically because he lost what was in the medevac if he would have gotten away with what was in that medevac I probably would have made buildings instead like gateways because it would mean he still had his army alive but he actually pushed the army all the way till it died. So I was like, oh, okay, well, if he lost his army in the medevac, how about we just make upgrades instead? And then we'll make our units later. We'll, like, make more production for more units later and just keep maintaining on a two-gateway robo for now. But And then he shows up with a big attack, right? And even though he shows up with a big attack, and we're not ready for it because we didn't make more gates, we still have, like, a 30 supply lead. Again, supply leads are real. So we just to be on the safe side, we pull some probes to A-move this with us because he's starting to make a bunker. He's got bio and tank sieged up and a liberator sieged up. It's looking a little dicey. We just want to make sure we break this. We're not micro anything either. If we didn't want to pull probes, here's an easy way we could counter micro this. You want to know how we could... Here's a cool trick, okay? Or not a trick, but like an interesting idea. You want to know how we could micro this in a way to fuck this over? If I just walked my army... Don't pull the probes at all. Let them mine minerals. If I macro units in the meantime, while I, whenever I make anyways already, make units. But if I tell these units to walk to the left of the liberator zone, and I focus fire the sieged tank, and then I focus fire the unseaged tank, I would 100% fucking demolish this army. And then if I warp in new stalkers, even if somehow my stalkers die killing these two tanks, new stalkers could come down and kill the liberator from flanking it behind its liberator field, because they would kill the liberator from like right there. And then the bunker would never go up because everything would be dead. And then I would eventually kill the bunker last. That's what we would do if I was microing. But obviously if I'm not microing, I'm just going to fucking A-move. And let it hit whatever's closer, which is going to be the bio. And I'm going to stand in the middle of fucking tanks and liberator field the entire time. Which is not as efficient. But again, it's about it's about the macro. It's not about multitasking yet because we're, we're not really able to handle... We're almost there. We're almost able to handle a little bit of multitask, but not yet. So even though all things considered when the fight's over, look what's happening. I'm still maintaining the same supply lead I was before. It's actually getting bigger. It's not just 30 anymore. It's almost 40. And it's going up repeatedly. And why is that? I'm crushing the economy. That economy big. Big time. That economy is big time, motherfucker. That economy is big time. And now we have upgrades. Does my opponent have any fucking upgrades? He actually does. Surprisingly. Most people don't get upgrades when they play this all in. So now he's doing another attack. He's going for round two. All right? And now look at round two. Do you think... He Remember how I said, guys, am I going to panic right now? Do I give a shit? Do I care at all that he's setting up tanks outside of my base right now? Does it matter to me one bit? I don't care at all. Why is that? Again, I'm mining more than he is, and I'm outproducing him. Look at this right now. I'm still ahead by about 30 supply. Right now. When he, when he sets up with his second fucking setup at my base. The second round of a damage that he's trying to do. And now look at how the supply goes. Again, it was about 30 supply lead right there as he set up. As he set up at my base. He tries to set up a liberator on my Archon. I try to get my liberator out of there and then I just back off. I wait. We're still about a 30 supply lead. It's still maintaining roughly about 30 supply lead. <laughs> and then he just fucking pulls me into it with a marauder because we're not in a whole position. But it's okay. You want to know, because here's the thing, right? We're maintaining a 30 supply lead the entire time, right? <clears throat> we're, <clears throat> excuse me. We're maintaining a 30 supply lead. Which is good. But here's, here's the crazy thing. We've double expanded around it as well. And he's still on three bases. I mean, we already had the space before, but we retook the space. 
But another thing is, is look at the production. Current production value. We have four barracks. We have one factory and we have one starport. And now he's starting to make more racks. He's starting to make five more racks, but he's currently on four one one. Four one one. And he's making four more racks or five more racks as we speak. So he's about to be on nine one one. He's about to be on the police. Now look at us. Production wise, we're already on eight gateways. One robo. And we're making more. And we're making another four. So already we're on uh, nine production buildings and he's only on uh, six. And he's about to go up to 11. And we're about to go up to uh, 13. So I, the, we're, again, the, the point I'm trying to make here is, is we're continuously trying to grow leads in general over him. And why? And the reason why it's happening, like the reason why it makes sense that it's happening that way, is because we have just have more money. We have more economy than he does. And then we start making like more gateways again. But this is what, anyways, this is what the fight looks like when it happens. We'll back it up one more time to like where the Marauder pulled us. So this is what the fight looked like. He tried to. And he, he's like fully set up, right? He's got all of his siege set up, and he's like waiting for me to engage. And he pulls me with a scan. And he's pulling me into Liberator Zones, into Siege Tanks, into Bio up there with Stimpak. It doesn't matter. We don't even micro a single thing here. We just A move up to it. And we don't kill the Liberators, but we murder everything on the ground. And then now all that extra production we had is now coming online, right? Now all those gates are coming online. And now we even have more coming up. And look at our opponent. He doesn't really have the money to afford another round of production. He's trying to expand again. That's what he should be doing, but he should have done this a long time ago. He's behind a lot of workers right now. He's behind a lot of economy right now. So he's going to be at a deficit the rest of this game now. We've gotten to this point to where we're on full power, faster, and now it just it'll collapse on him over and over and over. Because now, again, we're at full power gateways. So if you look at production now, Terran has 9 plus 1 plus 1. He's got 11 buildings. And we have 20 plus 2. So we're on 22 buildings versus 11. We're double. We're literally doubling his production. And that's a big reason why he's just never going to have a chance here anymore. He, he can't afford shit. And this is why this fight is going to look so one-sided. Yo, you thank you very much like for the three. someone who likes floppy forks. Yeah, love floppy forks. Thank you very much for the dogs on that. Uh, Nebu uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Thank you, dude. And Floppy Fork, thank you for the two. Look who's talking. Yeah. I don't remember saying Floppy Fork, to be honest. I can't remember when I said that. If, if I said it, but it seems like I did because you guys both donated that. Thank you, guys. Much love, Floppy Fork, for the two. Okay, looks like we're only probably one more win away from Diamond. Maybe. It's 36, 3160, so it, we'll see. We might not get 18 plus. <sighs> What's it gonna be? Terran? No, it's Protoss. This has been a very Terran heavy series, or this, uh, video rather, not series. Okay, we saturated our close batches. Good luck, have fun. Let's go ahead and uh, get our pylon down at my ramp, because again, this is a Protoss versus Protoss. It's going to probe back down to the gateway or the pylon because we want to build that gateway the second the pylon's done. We want to try and time it as best we can. So, pylon's finishing right as our probe arrives and we build the gate. Now, let's go scout his base. Let's build a gas. Let's chrono boost out our next probe. 
<laughs> Put our last probe on our last mat mineral patch that has no uh uh what's it called? That has only one probe on it. Double gateway opener. He's opening up with an aggressive style. I will do this myself more when we actually micro. Once we start microing, I'll open like this as well in PvP. But again, I'm going to go one get expand against this dude. Because we're not microing. It's not relevant yet. Okay, so let's make our core. Build our gas. Our second gas. Rally the Nexus onto the simulator we just built. Let's go ahead and build a probe, or a pylon rather, sorry. The only way you come out ahead is if you can multitask when you micro. Because he's already, now he's already in a position where he needs to kill at least like five probes or something like that to even have a chance. He already has to kill probes to even have a chance. I'm here in the and we'll, we'll see how good his micro is, right? It's all good. I mean, it's not impossible, but it needs to be good to be able to win. Do we have B2GM cheesy style someday? It should no. be funny equals do not macro, only micro. No, I'd never do that, honestly. I'll never do that as well. Like, I mean, I, I, I know people ask me that question like every day is like a meme, but I'll fucking never do that. It is stupid. I'll, it defeats the whole purpose of the series. Okay, so if he runs adepts in my base, all we gotta do is just block this off with a battery. We're gonna leave a probe here just for a sec, just to keep ourselves guarded. Okay, it's not actually adepts, it's stalkers. So let's go ahead and chrono boost out uh, immortals when we can, because again, we don't know what this guy's doing. Let's bring this sentry back to uh, make a hallucinated phoenix. Scout the right side of the map. Back up to the, the battery. Chrono boost out one immortal. And by the time we are done chrono boosting our first immortal, we'll know if we need to worry about fucking making production more or like upgrades and shit by the time we take our third base like is this guy all inning the fuck out of us or is he gonna actually like expand to a natural okay so he's got a lot of stalkers in front of my base go ahead and a move that shit he's got a natural so you see that shit guys he's got a natural you know what that means it just means i'm ahead that's all it means i am just ahead right now Build our gases. Okay, he's attacking me with a lot of shit. Let's go ahead and move our probes. Okay, now he's backing off. Let's back off. Card boost our probes. We can take our third base. Vibe micro that sentry. I just wanted to make a hallucinated phoenix out of it. <laughs> okay, he killed my fucking nexus. Or my uh, sorry, my probe trying to build the nexus. Okay, let's go ahead and build our nexus again for like the second time. Group my army up. Don't let my army get scattered. Okay, there's a pylon right there. Keep making probes. And this guy is feeling really aggressive, right? This is a judgment call again. If he's super fucking aggressive. Maybe we should make more production before we make more upgrades. So let's do this. Gateway, gateway, gateway. Just to be extra safe. I, I fucking don't. This guy might like never stop attacking. He loves being, a, he's microing his heart out to win the game, right? And we're going to choose to go units before upgrades because of that. This is a GM level defense. Jesus. All 
Alright, and now we're gonna keep going to missing probes. Keep making units. Four five, four five, four five. All right, now now let's go ahead and make our uh, our upgrades here in just a second. Let's prioritize one more round of units really fast because again, what if he attacks? And I, I don't. That's exactly why I made the production right. Let's make some units right now. Unit, unit. Let's also remake a sentry because it, it fucking died. We want to scout with it. A couple stalkers, and there we go. We just prioritize four or five. So now, now I can make upgrades. And then after upgrades, we can expand to our fourth base. So upgrade. Upgrade and upgrade. Now let's take another base. Let's take this one up here or some shit. Doesn't really matter. And we'll do a unit priority one more time first. We'll start making zealots because we're going into charge lot archon now. We're checking the bottom side of the map now as well. Where is this guy located? What's he got? Transfer probes to these gases. Let's get our temple archives. Get charge. Get weapon upgrades and armor upgrades. Transfer probes to this base. To and look. Oh, what the f I have a fucking sentry! Where's my hallucinated phoenix? Fucking sentry scouting! <laughs> pull it back. Don't die. I want to pull it. I don't want you to die, dude. You're important. I need you to scout further in the future. I didn't even realize I did that, to be honest. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's start making Templar. Trying to boost our upgrades. Make a bunch of Templar. Probe count is now done. But this base is fully saturated, so let's expand again. Send a, let's try to actually send a Phoenix this time properly. Jesus. Look at my money, I can't spend it. Gate, 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 gate. Chrono boost upgrades. Then actually need a chrono boost to council, but it's whatever. Okay, he's got voids. He's making fucking voids. So Archons are a great choice. Archons hit air and they do really well at it. Okay, and uh, there we go. We saw, we see where his bases are located. So now we have a plan of attack as to where we're gonna go. Let's try to take this economy right there. Let's take some more gates here, just just because we need some more gates, and I'm kind of like struggling here. Why you hate sentries? Send them to die for our sins. I love sentries. I'm sorry. Transfer some probes over that are oversaturated to a new base. Thank you, blow me vibe. See, guys, all you have to do to hold early and cheese and pushes with B2GM is micro like GM and pretend you did not and change B2GM curriculum. And never forget, you will never be sorrow. Just get good. You are not allowed to micro or harass. Hey, not much micro going on here, dude. Okay. We're gradually growing as a player, right? I will not blow you. Thank you for the dono, though. Much love. Okay, let's go ahead and set up an attack. Now, we're, our army is in a nice concave, a, a nice spread out concave here. So now we can go ahead and A move, shift A move, shift A move, go back to my army, grab the observer, follow an immortal. Our army's actually fucking stupid as hell. Uh, I, that bush right there is fucking us really bad, but it's okay. See, blow me vibe? I didn't change the curriculum. Let's go ahead and chrono boost. Incredibus are immortals as well. What's his army look like? It's just a hybrid. It's fine. Oh, 
We got a 21 probe count. That's nice. Let's go ahead and make uh, some cannon battery here now because, I mean, he does have the ability to have air units. Also, who knows? I, I have some extra money. I can't spend my resources anymore. So with the extra, with the excess, let's go ahead and just make, make some static D. There we go. Let's make some Archons over here. And there we go. We're maxed again, right? Go ahead and make some cannon battery over here. Make some gases. Make some cannon battery in my main. Now, if this guy attacks us with some bullshit, we're fine. Let's go ahead and make a Dark Shrine as well. Just What if this is a base trade? Get three, three upgrades. Okay, every base is covered pretty well with Static D now. Now, this base is getting really well saturated, so we're, we're getting to a point now, too, where we should probably get ready to take another base soon. Go ahead and Chrono Booster upgrades in a second here one more time. We could even Chrono Boost out a couple more Immortals. So, Chrono Boost out these upgrades. Make a couple more Immortals now. Chrono Boost out those Robos. Probe count's still 85. We're still looking, we're cruising on that. Let's take another base and just, let's get one probe down here to get set it up, but don't take it just yet. Just because we need to max out first. That's a priority. And now we're maxed. Now let's go ahead and let's set up an attack, right? Let's go, let's go attack his ass. And because our sentry, oh look, fucking DTs. Oh my god, thank god I built cannons and batteries, right? At every base. Now, here we go. Let's A move. Here's a cool trick we can do, okay? Here's a cool trick. We're going to send two zealots to scout the map. Meanwhile, we're going to hit his base hard in the fucking base we know where it exists. So A move. Shift A move. Have the observer. Follow an immortal. Take one zealot. A move, A move, A move, A move across the right side of the map. And another zealot. I'll do it on the other side of the map. So left and right side of the map has two zealots. I just grabbed them by the green box. It's clicked it. Go across the map. Now I'm going to scout for expansions while killing his base. Behind this, what can I do? I can expand my fucking... Nexus in the bottom left. I can get ready to build cannon battery at it. Transfer probes as they mine out to it. I can chrono boost out uh, upgrades. I can chrono boost out immortals. I can also start making zealots and templars again. What's going on over here? It's ground units, right? It's like a mixture again of stalkers and voids. It's all G. Our units are getting really stupid here. I don't know why. So let's A move there. That's because he built a pylon. And then A move there. Now look at this, look what I found. I fucking found a base. So here's a cool thing you can do. How about I just do this? While I'm busy fighting bottom right, how about I go like this? Bunch of zealots. I just made a round of zealots. Let's A move top right. Those zealots will now go deal with top right. Minimal investment, minimal time usage, maximum gain. Let's make now some cannon battery here. Two cannon, one battery. Make our gases so we can eventually take our gas. Fix probes that are over. Every base is looking so pretty good. Look at that base. We just broke its ass. So now he's got nothing up there. See, he said I microed. I fucking A-moved everything, guys. What was the DT surround, is what he says. I mean, it feels like microing you play against it because it's just going to be overwhelming. We didn't really do shit that game. There was one moment. There was one moment. When I microed something by itself. And it was a sentry. It, I did micro the sentry one time to not let it die. And it was because it went too far exposed because the sentry has shorter range than a stalker. It was out of range of the battery. It was right here. I pulled the sentry back because it's going to die otherwise. Like, it's out of range of the battery. So instead of taking my whole army back and sending my whole army back, the stalker's already in range of the battery. All I do is I send the sentry in range of the battery to get healed. It's not that fucking hard. I just click the sentry and I go right click right there. As you can see right here. And then it heals it. And then I'm not actually microing it back into the fight. I just send it back and that's it. <laughs> so I can then make a hallucinated unit out of it. And then it actually, it, I didn't actually A-move it. It aggroed back because the stalker was getting shot by stalker still. And it's fine. It's whatever. Good luck. Yep. It lived. But I told the sentry to go back because I didn't want to lose my hallucinated scout. Because I, I, it's important to know how early my opponent expanded. We want to know how early he expanded. How did he expand? Where is the expansion at? Where that, where that shit at, dude? Where that?
And look at what we see. Look at this. Look at this fucking natural, guys. Look at that. You see that? You see that fucking natural, guys? Look at this natural. Was it worth it to open up with a micro build when the entire build gets shut down by a shield battery? I would say no. It was not worth it. He's fucking so far behind in economy. Look at that fucking economy, dude. I am doubling the mineral income. And we're, we have the same gas because I don't have two, four gases yet. But I am doubling the mineral income. I am fucking crushing right now. Guys, look. Look at this stalker. You have any idea how bad I wanted to micro that stalker? You have any idea how bad I wanted to micro that stalker? You have any idea how bad I wanted to have that stalker focus fire that stalker? But instead the AI shoots this one instead? You see? We're not microing. But again, once this immortal pops out, this army just gets fucking pounded. It's like, oh, see ya. Yeah, you got a lot of stalkers? It's okay. We can always back up to the battery and overcharge the battery. We can also pull the probes like we do here. Look at the probe count, guys. Let's take one more gander here at our natural. We're able to fully saturate our gases and keep our mineral line saturated. Let's look at our opponent's natural. That's what winner that's how winning is done right there. Economy. And now we have a third base started, right? We got a third base started, and our third base already has like four or five probes on it. Let's watch this for a second. Watch this for a second. Let's watch and see when this third base is done. This is a third base for us, right? Wait until it's done. Third base is done, right? Now, it has 13 probes on it, and it's done. It's our third base. What does my opponent's natural look like? 13. He's got the same amount of fucking probes on his natural. By the time I have the same amount of those probes on my fucking third... He is pacing very, very slowly behind us, and it's because his build was very heavy, heavily reliant on these stalkers getting damage done, and then also now going void rays behind it. Like, this build is going to put you into a deficit all game if you don't kill a lot of my probes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now look at that supply. Big fat lead for uh, red here. And this is what the fight looks like, right? This is what our actual push looks like. We even we even tried to set this up properly. We even tried to make this fight go properly. And look how stupid my units get. They get so dumb. And there, you know why they got dumb? You want to know why they got dumb? Because I told my army to A move like right there. And you know what these units on the left side of these bushes did? Like, they were up here. They decided that it would be... In, like, this is how AI works in StarCraft, like I said before. These units that were here decided it would be a good idea if I'm going to a move, like, right there. If they go down and around that bush right there, in the very middle, that is literally blocking terrain. It's blocking terrain that's, like, that big. They decided it would be a good idea to go down and around it. And all that does is it creates a traffic jam. With a bunch of idiot units that are just like... <laughs> Now, if I would have instead a moved like right there, or like right there, they would units would have gone up instead of down here. So that was a fuck up on our part on how we, we a moved that. And I imagine if all these units that are stuck behind, all these units that are stuck behind. What if they were here pushing sideways into his army? It would be much better at how we took the fight. 
so much better. Vibe, don't you like target units? I love target units. But you know what a target unit requires? A target unit requires you to micro it for it to be worthwhile. It's the same reason why I'm not telling Terran players to go for fucking like battlecruisers and banshees and liberators in lower leagues, like realistically. And I'm not telling Zergs to go for like Needlisk. Because it requires you to micro. And if you don't micro it and you just make the unit and sit there on it, your build is bad. The only unit you can make and sit on it is a death ball unit. And I guess a carrier could or a carrier is that regard. And a battlecruiser also also kind of falls into that regard. But those are kind of scary because if you ever take a fight where you have only like 80 supply or like 110 versus your opponent having max supply, there's a good chance you'll still die. Because death ball doesn't actually count as a death ball until you're maxed out. And those units are really expensive. And now he's got, look at all these DTs, right? This guy's doing the multi, this is exactly why we build cannons. He's doing the multi-pronged DT attack. He's DTs everywhere. Look at this shit. DT, 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 DT. DT, DT. DTs are everywhere, boys! Now he's pulling some of them back. He's pulling all of them back. Okay, so now he's sending some of them forward again. So you miss that a little bit. Here comes a DT. Here's a DT. Here's a DT, right? Look at this shit. This is why cannons are so good late game. Here we go. DT died. This DT is walking into death. This DT up here is about to walk into death. This DT is... I literally a move the area. Regroup my army. <laughs> I think that's what he's talking about. No micro, huh? I didn't even fucking know a DT was in that. I'm not even kidding. And this DT up here comes into a cannon and it dies. This DT right there, what happened to it? Did it die? It died. I think it, it barely got close enough to the, the cannon. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it just died right there. <laughs> and then he's got two DTs right here. And they're just chilling. And now he's sending them out while I'm, uh, you know, moving out, right? And now here's what's going to happen with these. So he selected an army, and he moved his DTs back again. That DT was actually about to uh, scout my base over here, and then it turned around. Macro, boys. It's what you need to win the game. It's what you need, boy. It's what you need. Now we move in with our zealots and shit. And again, this is pure A move. So our archons are blocking the shit out of the rest of our units behind it, because they're taking a horrible fight against voids. Voids are placed in a really good spot for this. But there's just too much archon, so the, ar the voids are still going to die either way. And then the voids die. And the zealots are just going to fucking town on the entire base. <laughs> oh, back row is the shit. There comes the zealots, right? We scouted that and we went, oh, cool. Nice. We saw a base up there, so we just A-moved some zealots in that direction. Good trap hold. Honestly, I fucking A-moved. I A-moved my army to regroup in micro, there. But two times, two units moves. It did not win the game, sorry. To all those who think I was overly serious, don't take me serious. Oh, that's you! G man 20 seconds late on natural WP man That's lol. fucking you, Sir Gamer Moore. You fucking snipe my ass. I just realized who that is. That's you. And this Dono is for me being wrong about the DT lol damn IT. <laughs> yeah, Sir Gamer Moore, thank you for the bits. That's pretty funny. Okay, is that it for us? Is that it? Hey, boys, we're diamond now. We're diamond league now, boys. Oh, yeah. Diamond three. You see it? 
There you go, guys. We got out of platinum. We can finally fucking micro with Brodos. We're finally going to start doing micro stuff with Brodos. We're going to start thinking about how to micro away out of situations while maintaining your goddamn macro. This does not mean... You know what this means? It doesn't, it doesn't mean that we're just going to stop macroing, guys. Pull your head out of your ass. We're still going to fucking macro. But we're going to add micro on top of it now. We're going we're gonna to keep macroing and start microing a little bit. We're not just going to stop fucking macroing. We're going to do both. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed Platinum 1 to Diamond 3 Protoss. And the next time I see you guys will be in Diamond 3 Protoss. For the Protoss players out there. So good luck to you on your quest to Diamond. And I'll see you guys in the next video on our quest to Masters. We're eventually going to GM. Alright guys, take it easy. Much love. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all the support. And I'll see you next time. See ya. Shit. Now we need micro. Yes.